but that's a part of my culture. Free is right. And that doesn't Do mean that? that doesn't mean Some that I'm out here. That it. doesn't mean that I'm out it, here selling my transactionally for money. But that means what the f could I look like giving it to a man that can't help me? Murderer, murderer. Rolling. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome to Sinners Podcast. Just before we start the show, can everybody in the room turn their phones on silent? And when you're speaking, guests, can you speak directly into the mic so that we can get the best sound possible for the podcast, please? You're supposed to press the button. Rolling, let's go. Wrong button. No, this is the, this right, is the button the new, today. This this, is, all right, say This no. is the button today. All right, cool. My bad. All right, then. You're running let's things. Go. My bad. Let's go. It's your host, Mr. Glitch. I'm a co-host. Prince Akeem. And today, it's a bit different, but we're running the Sinners podcast. We've got some company it's a today, nice, let's a say nice, that. A nice some nice panel. company. Some good guests today. Why did you say it was some different? Nice company. Say again? Why did you say it was different? It's different because me and Kim are doing this. This is our oh, first okay. time oh, okay. hosting together. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how you been, Kim? Sorry to come. I'm good, man. Just fucking losing my money on the Euros, man. Bro, I was leaning late because of the same dead game, bro. Go the Euros on. are taking my money, man. But I'm good, though, man. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You What's want any bets at all? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a no. Like, just a cash out. Oh, I hear that. I hear that. But we move, man. We move, we move, we move. So I think I'm going to start to the left, like we were playing cards. So, excuse me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Aish Love. One second. What do you do, Aish Love? And what is it you do? Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. In what area? <laughs> In several areas. Do you sell crack? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I was going to say, man, you're being vague. Like, Maybe. <laughs> so you're not like going to open up, you're not going to tell us. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it, you oh, you've gone too far. Yeah, 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 it's fire. early for the open up. No, no, it's not fire. It's just a way you said No, you need to the open up. So, how did you get into your entrepreneurship? I feel like you're fitting it on me. Um, so basically, um, <coughs> we had a. Um, sorry, can you turn off your fan? Yeah, yeah. It's all up to you. It's all you can use. Hold on. You made it go. She fast. sped it up, man. <laughs> yeah. It is really she, hot. She thought now. it was a vibrator. Mad. Definitely. Yes, I did. When you made it, it for Nora ways. That's a weird shape, but I'm um, still. <laughs> basically, I was running um, a yard few takeaway shop. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we closed that down, and um, I'm currently looking for a new space. How okay. can we close it yeah. down? Pardon? How can we close it down? Because he was experiencing problems with the landlord. Okay, okay. Yeah. How long, how long was it running for? It was open for five years. Five years? Okay. Did you ever say we don't have that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Period. But you know what it is, yeah? All right. So what was your wait times like? Huh? One second, ask about two questions in two seconds. <laughs> what was your wait time like? <laughs> The turnover, it, it depended what time of day it was, but basically, for me, the most annoying thing was like, someone will come in, they ask you what you got, you tell them, and then they ask you for something that you didn't say. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, where, where okay. was your food shop located? It was in Chesington. Chesington? I yeah. don't even know where that, where is that? I think there's a fair, there's, there's some kind yeah, of fun yeah, fair yeah, around there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's a theme yeah. park. Yeah, theme park. Is that like by Chesington. London? Mm. It's okay. in Surrey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. She tried to figure out you was asking the question. I said, like, look him around. Yeah, the mere cat. Yeah, 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 you don't know what's going on. I don't yeah. <laughs> Me and him got beef secretly, it's okay. You got beef with the barman? Me? Yeah, I got you, beef with you secretly. You got beef okay. with me? That's, that's for another day. So is that, your, is, that your, is that your bag then? Did you... My, I guess my question is, were you the chef? No, I wasn't the chef. He had a chef. I was just the brains and I just did everything else. Well, can you cook though? Of course I can. What's your best dish that you can make? Um, it depends, really. Depends on what? Because it's like, um... Alright, I'll give you No, idea. I'm very fussy at, with what I eat. Okay. It's like I can cook jerk chicken, and curry goat, like whatever, but I don't really like it. Yeah. What? I tried and to give her, I to give her curry goat earlier, she wasn't on that at all. It's like, do you know what it is? I don't like things with bones in it. Okay. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so moving on swiftly, what what happened after the shop closed down? <laughs> huh? What happened after the shop closed down? Um, what do you mean? Like what have I been doing? You said after five, yeah, after five years, once that closed down. Oh, okay, so that was very recently. Okay. So I'm currently, like I said, I'm looking for another space. Okay, so yeah, right up to time. Okay. It's giving kitchen space, yeah. like we said. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You know, like rest of pull-up restaurants is not really the same anymore. Like, I, like for example, I was looking at Wingstop the other day, yeah, mm -hmm. and there's a lot more locations that are not actually walk-in locations. And they okay. work better, you know, like with like Deliveroo, Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah like those kitchens. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's basically like what she's looking for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. one kitchen. that's in an area that's bet that's a that's a good clean that space that you can do twenty four hours, you know, like mm -hmm. having twenty four hours yard food would be amazing, you know. Let me ask you a question, yeah. Who? Did were you open on Sundays? So when we first opened, we were open on Sundays. But okay. after about a year, it was not mm -mm. Mm. I think a lot of yard food shops miss the trick. Not yeah, because Sunday, Sunday would be yeah. the thing because, you know, no, you I want yard food on a Sunday. All right, then. That's the day you want yard food. Close it would be amazing. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 that would make sense. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Rest on the Monday. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Monday could be off, but for people... You know how much families would turn up if they knew that you're doing like a bucket? Yeah. A, whole, a whole Sunday dinner, you're you know, right. you could go somewhere that's official. And have a special. All right. They would make bread. But they are they are like yard food carveries. What do you mean? My special? If I had a restaurant? Yeah. What you mean, like, what would I offer on my special? Yeah, what would you offer? I would, I would probably Herself. do like a jerk whole chicken a with like a roast, chicken. a roast wild wise. Like how I was about to say to him, I was gonna say on Sundays you can. Mm. Act, there's actually yard roast places. Yeah, they do mm. carvery. Like where they do carvery, uh, that's what I would offer. How much okay. would you charge? I would try and do a family rate. I'd probably want to do like a meal for a household, so a whole chicken, roast potatoes, a mm. tray of rice and peas, tray of macaroni cheese. Oh, and coleslaw. and a little thing of coleslaw, <laughs> a little thing of planting. I'd do that for like a just one chicken one for the whole family. Yeah, because if you was cooking, wait, at no. your wait yard, there, wait there. there. Finish what you was gonna say. <laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say like one twenty. One hundred and twenty pounds yeah. for that. <laughs> how many? No, how much does it serve? No, hold on. Let, let, yeah, let, in let, it, go on. How much does it serve? Yeah. How much six does it serve? People. Six people. Six people. Right. If you were to go to a on a Sunday, place, twenty quid each, and it's good that's quality. That's cool, that and it's at your house. I'm not, yeah. not complaining. One whole chicken. Okay, I'll add a little extra food. One whole chicken, though. Like a curry chicken on the side. Yeah, it's hard times. Still one twenty, though. Yeah, one twenty too. Still one twenty. Extortion. No, but hold on. You're forgetting. Hold on. If you went out to eat six people, you are going to grind. <laughs> Hold on, though, but she's based in the, um, the capital, innit? So them prices there. Yeah, that's, okay. That's if cheap you went London. out to eat for your whole 100%. family on a Sunday, uh, if you went to TGI Fridays, or even if you ordered bloody Wingstop, even mm. um, Popeyes, Cobra. anywhere, Two you're paying more than 120 for to feed six people. Right. I, I added the curry chicken, so let's just put. <laughs> Two whole You're, chicks. I don't in know about the one right, twenty. Whole, I don't know whole. about that. That's high. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, it's seventy pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, bro, Nando's people are paying like how much yeah, is it bro. for the 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 fucking steak from that salt bay and all that? I just think it just depends how you pack it. But she's not salt bay though. Yeah, but I've been to salt bay. Salt bay dead. My food, my food I cook in my yard would be better than salt bay. I've been to salt bay. It's dead. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just the way they've marketed it. Dead. You get what I'm saying? I'm big for my man, Salt Bay. <laughs> no, I'm just in it. Food's dead. You could even talk about Nokia Bay is the Salt, is so, <laughs> all right, then, cool. So, moving on swiftly. <laughs> you need the oh, shish kebab. That was like the hot sauce. It was dead, it was dead, it was dead. We're going to go to King shish. Rich. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, mm, what's going on? Where do I look? There, no. Welcome. Hey, King Rich is on YouTube, yeah. Hated, loved, all of that. Back chat member, all of that. And Big Up Sinners podcast, obviously. Come on. Alright. So why would you say you hated? Why am I? <laughs> Cause I kick girls off my show, blood. Normal. Yeah, Lamron. Yeah, normal. So you, you just saying you don't do that no more. Yeah, I don't do it no more. But <laughs> if, if if it if it does come to it, I will definitely kick a girl out. It's nothing. What's the most like? How does that make no one second, bro? How does that make you feel when you do that? It makes me feel like a man. <laughs> What's nah, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Yeah, I just feel like a lot of girls. Yeah, they feel like they can just act it, act up, just say anything to a guy and not me in it. Maybe next man, but not me in it. Normal. So you got zero tolerance. <coughs> It's not like that, but like, don't come to my house and try just like wear your shoes on my sofa, bro. Oh, no, that's not right. That's disrespectful. Like, you know what I mean? She's not respecting it. Yeah, yeah, she's not respecting it. So, how many, how, many, how many females have you kicked out? A lot still. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll kick guys out as well, though. Trust me. <laughs> Why? What? Huh? Why? Because they do the same thing, they start acting up. Like, get out, bruv. Normal. 
What was the latest reason? That's why I have to chain boxing. Huh? What was the latest reason why you kicked someone out? No, I haven't kicked no one out for about a year though, because they know better now, isn't it? The rules are set. Yeah, I think everyone's kind of seen it. So you had to do boxing because you kicked. No, I was boxing before and did American (laughs) football. You said that's why I had to do boxing. No, because like some guys get excited and like maybe they're on the coke or something. They think, well, I can do something. Like, nah, bro. So they have to be on coke to. (laughs) They they should be on coke thinking they're gonna try me, bro. Okay. So how you been finding back chat? Uh, it's calm still. Uh, what is it? The third episode came out yesterday. I murked on it. Flamed them up. Get me. Ooh, man. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get into that one still. Yeah, yeah we're gonna. On. We're definitely gonna return to that conversation there. Moving on to our third guest. My name is Lily Wiltshire. Um, one I... second, Lily. Sorry. Yeah, because he wasn't trying to give me the round of applause. Like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Um, I um, own a herb infused, infused juice business and I have a podcast also and um, yeah I'm here how I'm did you what made you get into the drinks company um, I I used to work in the strip club and when I worked in the strip club this girl this lady it was actually a house mom she um, used I was I was about to have an anxiety attack at the time actually and um, she offered me a herb infused, infused lemonade and I tried it, it was great. And then years later, I don't know, I just, somebody gave me a machine mm. to like, um, turn. Produce it. Yeah, yeah produce yeah. into, but it, at the time it was like, I could only make butter or oil out of the machine. Mm-hmm. So it got me into like cooking with the oil, cooking with the butter. And then I was, I remembered the lemonade and I just thought, how could I make this? And I made it, I loved it, other people liked it. And I just, I just kind of went from there. You must have made bare peas as a stripper, you know? I, I didn't strip. Oh, okay. you didn't strip? No, I was a waitress. Oh, okay. Yeah, bottle so, girl. Oh, wait, a bottle girl and a bartender. The You're the one that goes, hey, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, 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 with the sparklers and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the they still tip you? Yeah, of course, but they can't throw money at you. Okay. They're not allowed. Oh, that like, makes if a difference. they throw money at you, then <laughs> yeah, it makes, a, it makes a big difference. Um, yeah. if they, no, not disrespect. If they throw money, the strippers pick it up. They dance. Mm. They've come here. They've paid their money to be able to work. So they when like that's how the strip club works in America. Well, some of them you actually then they don't like get paid a percentage. They pay to work. So if they pay two hundred to come in, all the money that's fell in front of them, they can pick up. So what's that? Was that in America then? You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Atlanta, so you were. Atlanta, Atlanta, okay, Atlanta, that's yeah, where you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, I was in Atlanta. So I, they couldn't throw there? money. Um, I moved to Texas originally, and then I didn't like Texas anymore. So I was like, I want to move to Atlanta. I got offered a job in a strip club. The strip okay. club was just opening um, as a as a waitress. I had never been a waitress before. Um, it was pretty easy. I made good money, but yeah, I didn't dance though. He's saying I would have made good money as a dancer, but I can't really dance. To be Did fair. you ever get tempted? No. Like, well, you still yeah, 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 yeah. I said are that. Are you stiff? No, not really stiff, but they are skilled. Imagine standing up no, here yeah, for that's... like four hours. Every guy that comes, imagine a man come, you're tired now. You've been shaking your ass for like two <laughs> hours. My man come with some big, he's got 20 grand in front of him, light show. You're going to want to dance again. That's tiring. Mm. They be in the biggest heels. I, can't, I don't even wear heels on a regular day. Like, it's mm. very tiring. They what about in the normal ass. rave? Like, can you dance in the normal rave? I can whine, but I'm Jamaican, so it's more like a whine. Their music is it's like, they're, they're shaking their ass to, twerk, to little twerk, baby yeah. and shit. Like, future and that. It's not. I think you can do it. You're not a twerker. Nah, not all night. I couldn't do it. I never could do it. And then I don't feel comfortable with having my, like, the no, I didn't mean I, this, I don't in. mean the stripping part. I oh, mean the dance, dancing part. Dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. I, I can't really twerk like that. I'm not even going to lie. I've tried. I get most of my Twerking ain't everything, though. No, but that's what they do in the strip club. Mm-hmm. So we, I was just You just need to have to a big back. That's all. No, you can't. I see bare big back. No, no, no. In America, in America, bro, mad? it's Champions you League, bro. You have to. The girls is swinging on the, mm-hmm. sw- on the, on the pole. I saw one move one time. Yeah, they turned into some bike, bro. Yeah. I'm not even bullshitting yeah. you, bro. There was like a one jumped on top down. of the other one, yeah, and then bro. they turn into the thing. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them girls. Mad, they was bro. all over yeah, Instagram, and they, I think they, they Some normally poor in Miami. Work, bro. Yeah, they, they're crazy. Like there was one girl, there was one girl that works in the club I worked in, and I could never. Sorry, but I just, nah, that's for the gallum that done the bike thing. They have to get look hard and everything. You hear me? One more time, sorry. Yeah. So, ATL. Yes. What year was this? Um, I finished there in 2021. Okay. Mm. How long was you out there for? Um, 10 years on a whole, but oh. I worked in a club for like four years. Okay. So I worked in um, a law, then I worked in another club called Chic, which wasn't really a strip club, but it was a regular club, but it was a lit club. Um, King Vaughn actually died like right next to the club that I worked at. Wow. Um, and then, uh, RIP him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I worked in Blue Flame. 
so yeah. I'm the, I don't know who this shit. Oh, you don't know the shit clubs? Oh, okay, Magic City probably. I heard, yeah, I heard Magic City. I only, I only know this yeah. from the rap bars, innit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they be saying Blue Flame. Like, okay. Lil Baby be saying it, Blue Flame. Okay. They be saying Blue Flame, Blue Flame. So the clubs, but yeah, it's, it's in a hood. It's a hood good. club. Like, mm -hmm. in both of the clubs I worked in, I know people that have died outside of there or in there. So. It's America, though, innit? People so what's that Atlanta like? It's crazy. What was Atlanta like? Is it true what they say? Like, there's like a lot of like homo. Yes. There's a lot of gay people there. Yes. I'm gonna be honest. I've been mm -hmm. to a gay club in Atlanta, and I swear to you, I didn't know what to do with myself. There was a hood guy in the middle with no shirt, <laughs> with dreads. I'm looking at him like he's fine. My doing all this, and it's a gay club. Like, yes. like even my, I had gay friends. They would all de date like. D DL guys, like mm. guys that have girlfriends, hood guys, tats all over their face, but really they like to... I feel like when guys are too accessible to too many women, I feel like they stray a little and they get a little bit... Um, they need a little bit extra. Intrigued mm. by other things, whether mm -hmm. it's... You're talking about like going going when, it, whether it's when they're whether too rich or no, something. No, 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 like, when they just have too many, like, mm -hmm. you got too much, yeah. like, you can have any bitch you want. At that point, mm -hmm. it's like you it's given, niggas. that's when you want the woman to go past the gooch, pinch the nipples, like, you're going to get freaky on me. Yeah, you want a little extra. Yeah, mm -hmm. guys do that, though. I really stinky, believe stinky. that. I genuinely believe that. Yeah. First. Mm. So, I'm going to put a pin in there. <laughs> Where else can you go season. with that? Like, yeah, so it happens everywhere. It's definitely happening here too, so. Yeah, Not nah. just Atlanta. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, next we have. My name is Tana Hassan, mm -hmm. and I'm a psychotherapist. And we need to address your generalizations. We talked about this earlier on. Your proper we did. I'm sorry, this is my therapist, and <laughs> I, right. I need to listen to oh, what he says. Oh, it's your real life? No, no, oh. he's about to be that. Like, okay, about okay. To be. <laughs> he, he, he read me in 3.5 seconds, so I have to hire no him. So how long have okay. you been doing the therapist work for? Uh, so I've been a psychotherapist for about uh, 12 years. Been working in the field for about 16 years. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm an integrative therapist, so I, I basically learn a lot of different modalities, so... Person sent the CBT, psychodynamic, all the all the bits and pieces, and then I um, I trained as a sex addiction therapist, um, and I'm an addiction specialist as well, and a performance coach. So I work with a lot of mindsets and stuff. So Tana, is it Tana? Yeah, Tana. Yeah. Yeah. What made you get into that? <clears throat> um, well, I kind of that was definitely not a line of work I was going to do, helping people. Usually, you know, the old me would be about what I can take from people. Okay. So you know. Um, and uh, you know, working in addiction is a is a big part of my life because I'm I'm in recovery myself. Fair. Um I'll be 18 years clean this October. Congratulations! Thank, Thank you very much. Sorry, one sec, one sec, one sec. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask what you, what you're clean of? Um, everything. So no drinking, no smoking, no sniffing, mm -hmm. nothing. Um, you was on the Charlie Brown. No, I didn't come across. I didn't come across heroin. Um, at all. Oh, Charlie. Oh, the Char so yeah, It's because you Charlie said Charlie Brown. Brown. Yeah. It's a bit mad. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, that yeah, one's crazy. Like I thought where you were going, they were striking the dragon. Yeah. No, My man King's going to be Charlie. testing me today. Right? I'm not going to I get not this vibe that. from not King. I'm it's because of my... I'm a decent guy, so man. Not genuine. Different. No, I wasn't get saying me. he wasn't. I'm just saying, like, you, you're out to play. I like it. I like, you've got a sense of humour. I like hey, it. Hey, energy. So it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. Um, I like it. No, I've been doing it a long time. And, um, yeah, so I just... I had to fix up. I was 24, and you know I'm 43 now. I had drug-induced psychosis. Wanted to, didn't want to live. Mm -hmm. um, made plans. Watched everybody live their life and felt resentful. And I don't forget what that darkness. What was, was the like. darkness like? What was the addiction days like? That made you thought, you know what? I want to quit now. Everybody's know. better than me. Mm. You're a piece of shit. You're worthless. You're nothing. I used to tell myself I was nothing. I used to believe I was unlovable. I couldn't give love, wasn't worthy of receiving love. Mm -hmm. Everything you can imagine, every emotion you can imagine. And um, yeah, I was I just under eight stone as well. I was really thin. I was, I so, fi I was so thin. I know you wanted to ask a question. Sorry, yeah, go, on, go ahead. Um, I was so thin that the flies on my trousers would fold over because I'd have to have extra holes in the belt. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was that thin. <coughs> I was oh so God. thin that even my suit that I used to wear, I used to work in the nightclub industry in the end yeah. before I come out. And they had pads in them, so I looked like a fucking triangle. <laughs> just this triangle, just so thin, and had these big pads. Say so Johnny Bravo, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Johnny Bravo, yeah, exactly. With uh, with less hair, but um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, Cheers. So you how said, did that make you well, feel at the time? Because you said you was on the club scene. So how like what? How was you feeling? 
deep down. Um, I managed to stop using in the nightclub industry, but then I refused to give up drink. I refused to accept that alcohol was a drug. Mm. And and then that started to take off, and I started to go into blackout, drunk myself sober. Wow. I couldn't, I, I literally, I used to try and do everything so you wouldn't know I was drinking. Mm. I'd drink sweet drinks, because I'd always wear like sweet aftershave and whatnot. So I was wearing, I was drinking like white rum and pineapple juice, 15 trebles. Wow. And, um, you know, my ritual, I'd go in normally before that, I'd go and go in the, in the bar next door, I'd see my dealer, I'd go and score, I'd go and sort myself out, I'd have two treble um, white rum and pineapple juice then going to work sort myself out again three amarettos and then open the book wow. it was a lot of fear I was afraid of everything that's that's the reality of where my darkness took how, me how did you, how did you get to the, that point like what drove you to to that position where you were basically clearly crying for help and it's escapism really isn't yeah. it like you don't want to you don't want to be in the what we call the reality you don't want to be in the real world so how did you get to the point where you literally kept trying to basically kill yourself slowly yeah um it was a series of things and you know i was i was i was um pursuing a career in the entertainment industry what entertainment Um, what kind of entertainment stripping no i wasn't It just felt appropriate to say that. Why? Um, uh, well, she worked in one in a bar ma- as a bar- as a barmaid, not a barman. I think you'd be a great sugar. Thanks. Mm-hmm. She recognises mm-hmm. the skills. Mm-hmm. Amen to that. Come on. Let's she have can lip her. Don't leave me. <laughs> in a transgender bar. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> okay, we went there. We went there. Um, so, what was your question? I got sidetracked. I said, "How did you get? How did you get to the point where to you that place? basically? Yeah. Where did the hurt come? Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Where did the hurt come? Yeah. Okay. So." Um, for someone who doesn't deal with rejection very well, I signed up for a, a business that's heavily <laughs> rejection orientated, mm. and um, you know I was uh, I was a musician, actor, so I wrote music, I performed, you know, and I and I went auditioning and performing, and I loved it. And um, when I was 19, I got quite far in a competition that um, got televised, and and that was just nuts. You know, I was 19; it was a long time ago. It was like 2000, 2001. And no Do you want to share what show it was? Yeah. Um, it was uh, pop stars back then, 2000. Oh, oh that's back then. Yeah, you're going old school, yeah. Old school. Going old school. I'm 43, I'm old. That's cool, man. Old school. I'm old. There's nothing wrong with the old school, man. You sound like you might have a little voice, though. But, you know, it was a very confusing time because they didn't really prepare you for that sort of stuff, right? And and so then me, Raymond, and Warren, we formed a group together and, you know, it was really good. We did Evan TV with Richard Blackwood and... Disney Channel and it was really going far and, and we had two deals on offer and and it was in Warner Brothers ready to sign a deal and Warren didn't turn up and he got signed by Def Soul Records mm. and oh. we looked like dickheads so I left there um, and that rejection was so hard and I had to go back and be around people and so mm. you had all that hype and everybody knew you or thought they knew you mm. um, and I didn't know how to cope with that so I withdrew as a person. <laughs> And drugs were a really great way of mm-hmm. soothing that, and uh, and I sort of hid, and that progress, and it progressed. And what I didn't realise is that drugs, I, I liked them, and so what happened is that I continued, and, and I loved until I until I, I loved them, and until they didn't love me anymore. So what was well, going on cold turkey like? Um, vile. I didn't sleep for nine months. Huh? Um, nine months I didn't sleep properly. I mean, that's a slight dramatic. I'm Cypriot, so I'm very that's dramatic. I didn't sleep for <laughs> nine months. It's so dramatic, you know. No, I, I didn't yeah. sleep for nine months properly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, weekends were a big trigger. Everyone's doing better than me, and I just, my head. Mm. So I went back to the studio and I, I made an album in, in recovery. My first year of recovery kept me busy. Um, and then I uh, performed that as well, and um, it got <coughs> reviewed, and it was great. I was just unlucky; I never got the right management, mm. and mm. yeah, it was just the way it was, wasn't it? And then, uh, um, but but coming off, in fact, smoking was the hardest. You know, I thought sniff would be the hardest, but smoking weed was the hardest mm. one to come off of because, of course, it was a nicotine hit as well. And and I loved just I, I loved all the, the downers. I loved the low low ones, and I liked the high ones. But I just everything really. But it was before, you know, right there before we go carry on. Sorry. Um, could we just introduce the last guest? Okay. Yeah, we need yeah, to put... Get, yeah, we was getting through, I guess, the conversation. Finishing it. No, okay, carry on. No, um... So, when, when does sex become an addiction? Well, I guess we need to put a pin in that, don't we? Yeah. 
and we'll come back to that yeah. I would assume because yeah. otherwise we'll go down these yeah, rabbit yeah, holes yeah, for yeah, ages yeah. and there's yeah. lots of us around the table today so yeah we'll pause it there and we'll move on to our final guest hi Jessica we didn't forget about you we was no, just it's fine yeah it is half asleep here anyway it's, it's okay fine. it's time so to wake up you say everyone's boring <laughs> nice and relaxed yeah were you bored <laughs> No, Which no, one? I'm just jet lagged. I'm so tired. Where I've you been? I've literally just got back from Seattle a couple of like couple of hours ago. Seattle, oh, yeah, fair so play. I'm just shattered. <laughs> so your name, please, and what you do? Um, I'm Jesse. I'm cabin crew. I'm a laser technician, and I just work on social media as well. Fair. So, yeah, do you show your bum on social media? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> first rude. strap in. First strap away, man. No. <laughs> You don't or you do? What? Did I've you got answer bikini question? photos on there. Like I've got, I, I travel for a living. Like I've got bikini photos on there. She shows the her grin, bum. The grin, the yeah. grin. I think grin. most people show their bum on social media. Yeah. Well, most girls. There's no difference do between- Do you show your bum? I'm not in my bedroom show my ass. I'm on a beach or something. It's the same thing yeah, to be fair. It's, it's a not, yes or no. Not, do you show not. your bum? Yes or no? You have to go look on my social media and find out. Mm. <laughs> okay, so oh, Jessica. Oh, what's, 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 you got you got a shot at the social media. Is that Ash same? Love? Mm -hmm. Ash Love. I finally got my handle back. Period. Ash Love, yeah. Ash Love. Ash Love. There you have it, people. Ash Love, if you want to go and see some gates. Did it still call him that? You might see your ass. Did it still say that? Hold on, you over there looking to see. Man's investigating. <laughs> He's on it straight away. He he research, research. I love that. I love that. Jessica, I love one that second, piece. please. Yeah. So, Jessica, um, you mentioned that you have a laser company. Yes. Do you want to go into a bit more detail about the laser company and um, what it entails? It's like laser hair removal, tattoo removal, IPL treatments, um, yeah, like different things like that, carbon laser facials. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's quite like high end treatment, but it's they're, they're good results. So, yeah. What made you get into that? I wanted to make more money, so I just started a business in it, yeah. Don't you get like a lot from being at Airhouse? Yeah, and, and like I make money on social media as well, but mm. I just want to make more money, so. Fair. Yeah. You want to keep got expensive taste? You got yeah. expensive taste, so I can, I can see the shows <laughs> and all of that. So you're yeah, watching her up and down, yeah? No, I'm just get, yeah. I just got expensive you taste. Trick. You know, no, I'm psychoanalyzing bills, every single no one, one of you on bills, it. So. <laughs> Say again. I said I'm psychoanalyzing every single one of you on this table, so Fair. we're gonna put a pin in all of that as well. We'll come back to all of that. <laughs> cool. Just put it down. Well, where do you do the laser treatment? Where are you based? At Birmingham. Like oh, um, okay. yeah, South Birmingham. I want some laser treatment, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Underneath yeah, my armpits, I don't want my mm -hmm. armpits to grow. Mm -hmm. I want my hair underneath my armpits to grow. That shit gotta go. Thank you. I'm hitting the rock. How long have you been doing the laser treatment for? Only about a year now. I opened it up about a year ago, yeah. Mm. Okay, and yeah. is it something that you're going to continue to do? Is it is it profitable? It is profitable, yeah. Like, you can make quite a bit of money off it, but I'll just see where everything takes me. I've got, like, three jobs, so I'm just permanently busy. Hustling. So, yeah, so it's just wherever it takes me, yeah. So if you only could do one of them, if you had to pick one of the three, which one would you pick? Laser. Uh, Maybe social media. Mm. You just you enjoy rock. that the most. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there's all different like aspects to it. Like there's all different avenues and stuff like that. I've worked with all different companies and brands and events, parties, all that. So it's, it is good, yeah. So a lot of money to be made. It's endless. Sorry, so, no. sorry to cut you. Um, I'm on some hood shit right now. But do you be getting like the um, the fr friends and family <laughs> discount? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you could buy like like for the a year like free. <laughs> yeah. I need I need the, I need the friends and family. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, did you speak That's to you before you um, even told her what you did? You mix up. Did she speak to you before that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I spoke. No, I spoke to her. I just I just picked up her laser treatment. What are you talking about? She, she wants she wants free up. flights. No, I'm not free flights. I'm gonna pay her for the year. What are you oh, talking okay, about? Nobody okay. ain't giving no free things down here. I'm paying for my shit. I just want to do. Cocky's free. Definitely from you. I know. You look, you look, you look, you look like you just be giving it out. Wow. You look like you giving it out. Wow. <laughs> you got shoes in the place. Giving it out, yeah. The Instagram's clean as well, by the way. Okay. Oh, well, it's clean, but it's clean. <laughs> so Jessica, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come back to you. Yeah, well, thanks for enlightening us. What you actually do, it's interesting. So where we're we heading now to the sins. To the yeah. sins. To the sin. The sin bin. 
Yeah. It's that time. Time for the deadly sin. So where are we going? Left, same order. It's only fair. She had a nice long break. So what's your biggest sin? Aisha. Aisha. I don't know, because I'm evil. Evil? It's evil. You know what? I get that vibe from you still. She's, she's um, saying she's evil. She's admitting to it. I have You're one of them ideas. demonic bitches, man. One of 100%, them. Wow. 100%. And I'm proud, just like you are, for being a narcissist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It feels good, innit? Mm -hmm. You like it. Mm -hmm. I like it, too. I love that. And they, they these, two, <laughs> hey, these two are going to have some wild <laughs> sex <laughs> later. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, he's heating up, you know, some Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing. They're the fucking the phone police of each other. <laughs> I'm still making some notes here. Okay, so basically, yeah, what it is here yeah, is Everybody I've got needs something help on, on my mind that I want to do. So I can't really say that because, you know, when I get my get back, I like it to be silent. So I have to talk about something that Hold on, there's a man here. in the open. So basically, um, <coughs> I've seen this guy and um, it didn't end very well. So um, I trademarked his business logo. Where you set? Where you set? You go into a bit more detail. Uh, I trademarked his business logo and then I went on Instagram and when he was like posting it, I would um, report it for trademark infringement. Where you set? Can we just go pay out? you money? Has he had to pay you money? No, because then I felt bad. How come you broke ah. up? <laughs> Did you cheat? Mm -mm. He cheat? He lied. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is it a big lie, a small lie? Kind of it lie? was um, it was just pathological lies. It was just consistent lies. Okay. So how long did you put up with the lies for? Till you thought, fuck this. I'm trademarking um, this shit. Not the nail, not. About a year. About a year. Mm -mm. So you when you trademarked his shit, were you still fucking him? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -mm. Why not just leave though? No, 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 no. Because that was that was the last thing that I could do to him. Because I thought, what you think you're gonna take me for an idiot? All right, all right, we'll see. He we'll cheated on see. you, man. He didn't cheat on me. So he what did he do? So what was it then? He I told you he lied to me. He just how, lying how big to was me. the lie though? <laughs> was it a white lie or was it? No, what? it was a big lie. What's a big lie? Like he had an other girlfriend, a whole family, married. No, he wasn't married. He wasn't married. There was somebody else. Yeah, he told me that. He wasn't dealing with that person. Not to say that he mm, he was lying he was with her, but he was fucking her. Did you DM her? Oh, oh hell, hell yeah! <laughs> Normal stuff that is. I um sent him. I sent her a picture of him in the bath. Like, yeah, bitch, come collect your man. So wow. what? You was the side dish then? Come no. collect your man. Yeah, you had to be the side no. dish. Why? You was rice. I was rice. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. You was the rice. No. Never the rice. Never the rice. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Then? Let me tell you something right now. Yeah. Go on. Spit your. Truth. I went to Jamaica for like three months. Mm. Oh, Jamaica. Came to Jamaica to come and see me, so I don't think yeah. I'm rice. Like came to Jamaica to come see you. So you man, no, we travel for You know the rice. No, the hold on though. You know the rice. It's a very important component mm -hmm. of the meal. Mm -mm. You can't eat the rice without the rest mm -hmm. of the meal. Unless you're like, unless true. it's like jollof rice. Good. That's not true. Do not eat rice, rice and peas by itself. I can eat rice and peas on its own. If it's cooked properly, you, you can, can eat rice and peas on its own. It's fire. You can eat rice and peas on its own. I'm telling you. Some gravy, yeah? You're out here eating rice. I would eat. No, I'm telling you. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm telling you this. Anybody eating rice and peas by I'm itself. telling you this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you this, and I'm going to tell you no this. Gravy. What no, no, no gravy. No gravy. No you say that? Listen, no let me tell you this. No salad I just don't think you've experienced I don't I've had, think you've experienced the fire. I've had authentic rice and peas, where it's coconut milk, all that still. Yeah, I still it's, cannot it's, eat that by itself. So you, so you wouldn't. You, you not with nothing. Not even a gravy. Not even a butter. Not even nothing. You're just eating dry. I guess I really like rice and liquid veg. It can work. Mama's eating rice and peas. I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. Yeah, so, little so veggie. Yeah, but even gravy. gravy. Nah, man. Rice I said butter, bro. No, no, but no gravy. Listen, that's deep. Planting. I'm not saying I chose to have the meal like that. I'm saying when the meal. You're not traveling for the meal. Ready. You're not traveling for the meal. She said he right. traveled to Jamaica right. for the meal. Right. You're not right. traveling cool. for rice right. and peas. Cool. It depends how much you like rice and peas. Listen. You like it a lot, bruv. Listen. <laughs> I can feel the passion. I'm telling you, it depends how much you like something. All right, so no, 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 no. I've traveled somewhere just for dessert. All right, all right. So where has the best rice and peas in the on the fly? I'm still nine saying, I'm, no, All I'm, right, not, so I'm not so doing it nine the, hours. Where has the best rice and peas in, 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 in Birmingham? Bing. It wasn't really, well, it wasn't on road. It wasn't on road. It wasn't on road. Who's on road? 
It went, my, the rice and peas went for Amro. So it's mums. It's mums. It's mums. It's a woman. Oh, grandma. Oh, woman. Oh, yeah. so oh you, like, you like that woman. Like, she knows she how could to make a rice, rice and peas. And peas. It's different. Okay, so you'll go back for that rice and peas. Compromising. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so where Maybe. Where, where, Hold on, where, where is she? Oh, you no. got, you got to teach me that rice and peas because <laughs> you got niggas out here and rice and peas by itself. Who is she? Introduce me to her, okay? What is that? Is that rum? It's just juice. Oh, it's, it's just juice. juice. So when my man come to it's, Django, it's, uh, yeah. This is, How did you, you want to try this one? It's banging. Oh, he asked me. He asked me to marry him. Do you want to try it? He asked me to marry him. Mm-hmm. And what you said no. Mm-hmm. So after that situation, oh, you said yes. He asked you to marry. You him. said no. I would have said yes. Like, it was like a year after. So, he, so hold on. We need timeline. We need context, right? So, so I'm saying she's just saying there's, anything. There's yeah. little bits in I'm COVID. Not saying, I'm not saying everything. I'm not saying anything. Okay, unless you don't want to talk about it, that's different. But if you if you do want to talk about it. So you were just saying that he cheated on you. So he allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, sorry, yes. Allegedly he cheated <laughs> on you. Right? Yeah. yeah. It was do you know what it was? It was a very it was a very it was a very techie situation. It was very Yeah. What's the You're not really because saying that. Okay, yeah, she's she's very right, 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 right. Technically, technically, very vague. Yeah. technically, yeah, he was with her first. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you was the side dish. I wasn't the side thing. I wasn't the side thing. I wasn't the side I wasn't the side thing. I wasn't the side thing. Yeah, because they broke up. They broke up. Listen, there was only one separation. You came in there. He looked at your Instagram and thought, yeah, boom. What are you saying? You was like, yeah, I'm here. He pursued me for a whole year. Yeah. So it was a. So you, you took, the, you you took the dick though, didn't you? So you see when you found yeah, out about my There you go. So that's all that matters. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear about my fucking I don't care. Big I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just saying it's the reality. Yeah. 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 There you go. I took dick. Yeah. yeah. So you need to. So, so hold on. Let's come back. Let's let's come back. Leave you. One second. Let's wait. You got they have some tension right now. I feel the vibration. What the fuck? Wow. This is crazy. Mister and Mrs. Smith. Hey, it's funny. Yeah. So. Yeah. So how did? So basically, all right. Cool. So they broke up. Like I was very firm of telling him that, like you know, like if you're not done with that situation, I can't fuck with you. Do you get him? So he was telling me that he was done with it, that he was lying to me about being done with it. Yeah. But I think, because me and the girl, we actually sat with each other, and there was actually another girl, and we actually ran off on her. Like, it's, I'm telling you, it's a whole a mad cult. story. How did you, how did you, <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask? Aisha, 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 how did, how did you Mental. get to that whole point? Like, how did you find yourself in that scenario? Oh, That's the question. Because I'm tapped, bro. Okay, Fuck. fair enough. That's some accountability. Where did you meet him? <laughs> Instagram. That's no, I didn't right meet him on Instagram. I met him coming to something like this, bro. This is why okay. I don't be like coming like to things like this. <laughs> 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 is, why you were doing, is this why you were projecting earlier? <laughs> no. Hey, yo, this is why she was, <laughs> earlier she was projecting, bro. Oh, shit. Well, That's funny. Well, I'm not going to go into I'm telling you, I don't want to do this, bro. No. Oh, you're in it now. Well, yeah, it's too yeah. late. So yeah. bottom line is you like this guy. He lied to you because he ended the relationship. But actually, he was still keeping it going. Then you kind of got together, just mm-hmm. so I can understand you, mm-hmm. what you're saying, summarising, right? Mm-hmm. Great at your job. And then Amazing. all Very of a sudden, <laughs> because you really liked him, mm-hmm. you decided to play the same game, which is I'm going to hurt you mm-hmm. the same way you hurt me in a, mm-hmm. in a kind of way. In a trauma bonding. Mm-hmm. Right? He, man knows about trauma bonding. <laughs> Tone of voice. Everyone, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. so after that, you did that. And then you said you felt horrible. I did, yeah. And even oh. after I sent the picture, I felt so bad mm-hmm. that it was just, it was. Oh. So where did you, you need to be bad. fixed at? So how did no, you? How out? did you know? How did you? You saying? You Sorry, felt my man's the host. Not you. My no, 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 no. It's cool. Sorry, it's cool. It's fine. You're asking very good questions, and it's carrying on the conversation. But my point is, like, I if I still was there at any, any point did you think that there might be a chance? Sorry. At any point, did you think it would have been? Are you laughing? Was still mad. mad. <laughs> I was. I was I waiting for someone else to say it. I, I, I wasn't gonna say it, guy. You like was gonna look at me as the bad guy. <laughs> what? You can't tell me nothing about my laugh, bro. Nah, I like I'm it. Growing up in the Jamaican background, so tell they don't tell me about my laugh. Tell me more though. about this situation nah, good, where you good. ran up on the other ladies. <laughs> Oh, with his girl. God. Oh, God. So these these men are mix up, bruv. They want to know about when you're fighting rumble. people and that. Like this is what I'm chat, trying to I didn't even fight her. I just shaked her down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? Well, fight? this is the thing, though. I just you know. shaked her down, innit? You can't really <laughs> fight her. <laughs> 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 so that's the that's <laughs> thing. How come you shook down the woman? Because, like, oh, God, it was just, oh. 
Why you going on a squat? She <laughs> argued with the nigga. The nigga's bitch was trying it, and she shut the bitch down. It be like that sometimes. You yeah. Know? She Period. went to ATL. She's looking at me. She went to ATL real quick. It be like that sometimes. You gotta shake a bitch down sometimes because bitches be trying it. Say that in a British I don't, accent. I don't get... I, okay. It doesn't matter whether mm-hmm. it was her man first or not. I didn't know about you. I knew nothing about you. You came along. Now you want to be in my DMs or following me or knowing what's going on with me. That's your problem. It sounds mm-hmm. like a personal problem. Your okay, just so we know, when she You're talks American, she said she she's knew. being violent. She said and she when she's talking British, you. she's not. Yes, definitely. Oh my gosh, you've read me through and that's, through. That's so basically, have you been shaken down before? No, I haven't, you know. Mm. Have you <clears throat> Are you the shaker? No, I'm not. T- to be fair though, I was going to trademark her business too. But Bro, I thought, no, girl, you're taking it too far. <laughs> Gone too no. far now. <laughs> that, that's the laugh, you know. Gone that's too far laugh. now. Mad that's the laugh. <laughs> so, moving on. Okay, well, who's the next Just thing? before you move on, I just wanted to say something. Just in all that you just said there, and this isn't a judgment at all, mm-hmm. this is an observation. Right? Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but we've just met. But And this is common with a lot of people out there. Mm-hmm. It's like the black games... People? Is, uh? Common mm-hmm. in black people or just people in general? Who said that? The, the barman. barman. All oh, right, okay. Is God talking to me? <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. No, people, people. I don't think we can stereotype. I need some more times and juice. Yeah, I got you. Um, but it's the games people play. Mm-hmm. And it can sometimes show an emotional immaturity in the relationship okay. and where we're at. So when you come out of that, mm-hmm. you being who you are today, would you, would you play like that now? Okay, so my thing is this. is I've got something else like in, in the crevices of my mind that I'm going to do to the next person who plays with me. However, it's like, I just think that it's a thing like this. I'm a very genuine person. And it's like, when you pursue me for a whole year and then you think you're going to play with me, like, no, you could have left me alone. So at that point, I just feel like, you know what? I am warranted to deal with you wicked at this point because... Bitch. Well, why give him that energy? Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't, don't you think that you're giving energy? You're, don't you're, 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 sorry, you're manifesting that already. I know. Don't you think like you're no, kind of bad vibes for that? No, no, no. Okay, okay, no, but what, what, okay, that's, okay, that's as a, the karma. That's no. the karma. Ash, but as a woman to a woman, I'm going to say this, and I say this to many women, and I just said this earlier, and you heard me say this. If a man pursues you for a year, mm-hmm. and you wasn't interested in him straight no. away, Mm-mm. after a year, you should have left that nigga alone too. You should have never spoke to him, because guess what? He was going to play with you. He's been to try and pursue you for a year and you've been playing with him for a year. I wasn't so guess what? When he comes, he's coming with fire. No, In the defense of niggas, never, we just need no, time, man. He should have never, never played with him. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. He was so lovely. He was so sweet. At first. He was very, no, 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 At no, first. no, 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 the whole way, like the whole way through, like he, he was very like emotional, available. Like. But then he lied. It was yeah, lies. Yeah, but he was just a liar. Exactly. He was did just you, a liar. Did you know he lies sweet though? Uh, Lily, Ooh, did you know? No, 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 no. I was just, I I said earlier that it's a, it's a, it's it's like a point where when a guy's trying to pursue me for too long. Oh, sorry, go on. No, say what's in. Oh, no, sorry. I asked her if the lies were sweet. No, they weren't that sweet. How long do you feel like he was lying to you for? I think that there were periods where he lied to me on and off. So, like, there'll be like (laughs) three months not lying, a month lying, two months not lying, like. So you see his lies here. Have they had a ripple effect for the next man? Yes. Already, yeah. She's planning the the, Um, the guy's execution already. That's true. No, no, no. And this is the thing. It's your energy. That's what I'm from you already. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you are manifesting that. Yeah, Yeah. because because, because I know who I'm... Like, because remember... Oh, you know the person. But I'm I'm talking about a new man, though. He was the situation before my last situation. So what I've got in in the crevices of my mind... In the bag for him. But you what about a brand own. new person? No, no, you don't have that no. for them. So then that means that you're not you're not planning on doing but that. But this is it because it's like I'm a genuine person. But it's like you see me, I'm very nonchalant as well. So it's like once you like I don't care about nothing. Like I really just I'm very laid back. Like I really don't care about nothing. Right. So it's like once you get me to the point of me feeling like I have to get you back, yeah, no, you really crossed the line somewhere. So you don't feel and like you, know you, you, was, yeah, you couldn't it, it was, get someone it was, back. It was it was it was not hard. Do you know what? Do you know what? I don't even think here yeah, it was more of the fact of the girl. I think it was, uh, we was arguing and it was a comment that he made to me. I'm not going to say the comment, but mm. it was it was, it was was really, really bad. What, did it make you knew where you stood? No, okay. no, no, no. It was just, it was, it was just very dirty. And um, <coughs> it was after that that made me send a picture. And then after that, it was like, it was just a whole ripple effect. It was just a whole How did he make you feel when you said what he said? Um, I just thought that like, I will stab you in your forehead. Wow. wow. 
So you sound like you're, you're very <coughs> normal stuff. Normal. You're very like passionate to the point where it can get send you to jail. It can go west. No, because you see, like before it gets to that, like I'll cut out. Like I really, really will cut out. But the thing about it is, is like you're not gonna like play with me, 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 and then think like you're not gonna get some get back, bitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you back, and what? I'm gonna get you back very silently. But they play with you if you violently. allow them to play with you. So what I mean by that, and I'll expand on what I mean by that, is there comes a point. <coughs> I'm not saying that you cause that. Mm -hmm. As soon as you figure out that's what he's about, want better for yourself and want more for yourself. What do you want to continue mm -hmm. with that energy mm -hmm. for? It's like, mm -hmm. okay, this is me. You've lost 100%. me. Ta da, but I'm off. But you know what? But after that situation, like going forward, like pretty much that is how I feel. So exactly. You but then you just said. Him. That, I didn't mm -hmm. say yes. I didn't mm -hmm. go back to the situation. I could have gone back to the situation so many times, but I haven't. But you're already planning. Like, just you. No, because this is, this, is, this, is a, this is a whole kind of different situation. This is a whole different situation. <laughs> <laughs> But this is but this is what I'm saying. You you said I'm planning. It, it You're no, but this is this is this is exactly if somebody just steps out of so line just one more time, just one more time. Just hear us out. Hear us out. I know there's a lot of people. Because it's good as well. Just hear us out. All right. The get back, if we keep focusing on the get back, what you're doing is you're programming the reticular activating system in your brain. Just gonna yeah. speak jargony bollocks for a minute. Come right? on. Just hear me, yeah. hear me out. The reticular activating system is the neurons in the back of the brain and we need that as a filter, right? Because mm -hmm. if we took in everything in equal measure, the brain will pop, which mm -hmm. just can't happen. Mm -hmm. So we have to, what we focus on, yeah? What we think yeah. about, we become. What we become, we think about the most. Mm -hmm. And so if every day, if you're thinking about that or in the back of your mind, you're focusing on the relation mm -hmm. on working out, mm -hmm. that's all you're going to see. You're mm -hmm. going to look for those signs that reveals itself if and that's that manifestation that you're manifesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at wanting better for myself and what the idea of a new relationship is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Someone that treats you like a queen. Mm -hmm. Someone that is invested in the fact in looking at a new kitchen. That wants to get a new restaurant. Yeah. Somebody that 100%. wants to invest in you. 100%. 100%. And take, take time. But you know what the thing is, is I'm very like, self-aware and I, I do know these things. But I'm just going to put that out there. Do you listen to just King Von? Just take time before you... Huh? You listen to King Von? No, not really. Oh, no, you just don't but if somebody asked me how did I get out of that, I bought him flowers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Where you set? Where you set? And King Kong wouldn't be the guy. It would be given Rod Wave or like well, somebody on that, else. Nah, she's on the get back thing, yeah, man. Yeah, that would be given like a sadness of like everybody hurts me type shit. That would not be given King Kong. Why are you Kong, American or? all of a sudden? Because she's angry. <laughs> she's been in, she was there for 10 mm -hmm. years, wasn't it? Exactly. She you never asked, you never asked I'm going to say something to you that's really cliche. And don't <laughs> hate me. Mm -hmm. Hurt people, hurt people. I heal know people, that. heal people. I Hold on, that. hear me out. Let me land, mm -hmm. right? Hurt people, hurt people. Heal people, heal people. I speak now. Heal, heal people. people, heal people, right? Mm -hmm. But nothing changes if nothing changes. Do mm -hmm. what you've always done. You get what you've always got. Mm -hmm. It's time <coughs> to make some changes that's better mm -hmm. for you. You want better energy. Look at the shit that's going on in the world. You want better energy around you, better people around mm -hmm. you. So if we keep continuing and thinking in that way, that's all we're going to be around. That's all we're going to look for. And that's all we're going to see. And you're going to miss what's really in front of you. Mm -hmm. Really you are. I'm not telling you what you should be doing. I'm just giving you my <coughs> two penny for what it's worth. You've believed in other people who yeah. never caught you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. No. Yeah, you have to. No, get, I, I guess the world I feel says like that you're just meant to do that. just like, Okay, oh, I misunderstood you. All right, sorry. Like, because do you know what? Yeah, it's like, I, I'm like all rounded like, a really like nice person. No, they're not talking about that. I'm not, I know, no, I know, you're not like, expecting no, people to hurt like, you. Is basically no, what you're saying. No, but it's like you see. I'm yeah. talking about him. I'm not talking about you. Yeah, he's saying he, like, yeah. like yeah. Huh? yeah, he's not saying you. I know right. you're speaking in code and it's really <laughs> difficult to lay it out. So it's really difficult to get the full like, I'm just, facts. I'm just like, do you know, I just have a vendetta against one person. Oh, yeah. No, I, no, I know but that's what you need to let go. But that's what you need to let go. That's what you need to let go. They're saying that that's not going to help you heal in life. Yeah. I think we should let go of this conversation and move to the next You can still get your revenge and know that though. Do you know what I'm saying? You still can get your revenge and know that that's not something you should do. It is what it is. Okay. Resentment's gonna have to put man. a gunshot in that one. And move on to King Rich. Yeah, what's yeah, your sin? Yeah. Hey, can I get one of those? What's your please? sin? What's my sin? Um, uh, vodka, isn't it? Anything. Anything. Vodka. vodka. But what I was gonna say, hey, sorry to um, Lauren. Yeah, I fucked up. Like, so I was with this girl in America. Are you up giving a public apology? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Tick she man, tick man. What, man? Right, there you go. No, man, so what did you do to Lauren? Nah, basically, I fucked two girls in the same day and I was with her. Where you set? So how did you, how did you end up in that situation? Well, it was kind of easy still. Like, so basically, I was in school in America. 
Mm-hmm. Met this chick, she was doing night classes. What, what age was that? What age? Um, one of the rules at the start of the show. That's your ringtone. Yeah. It's the host as well. Your Come ringtone on, is wow. mad. Oh, man. I mean, dun, 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 dun. You want to feel like you're on an island when you get woke up. Okay. I think we need your sin for that. Mm. Oh, that ringtone was mad though. That's crazy. That's crazy. King was pulling out his heart. We do apologise. Sorry, Lauren. Sorry, Lauren. It just is what it is, isn't it? Like, so... she. Western <laughs> ringtone, you know. <laughs> so hold on. By Keem, so no lemonade I'm, left. I'm very interested. He cheated yeah, on her with two bitches one day that in I the did, same day. Did yeah. yeah. Did you give them? Ult- did was you give them like what they was meant to get, or did you just like offer them just like? What do you mean? What they're meant Felicia. to get? What do you mean? Like you know, like do you feel like you perform to perform yeah. your best in them too? Like, I don't feel did like you, he did could you do did that. Did you fuck Lauren that day as well? Oh yes, that's the end of the quick. Uh, <laughs> <story. Yeah. laughs> So that's what three in one day. No, no, no. Let me tell you the story. So, so like basically, you? basically, um, the first chick, she came round. Like I was already fucking her. I was already cheating on Lauren. Sorry, Lauren. But like I was fucking this chick, um, and then she came round at about twelve midday. Did our thing. Then I told her, oh yeah, like my friend. I told my friend, like yeah, call me in it. Like I was like, oh shit, I gotta go. Da, da, da. Uh-huh. So she fucked off, washed my dick in the sink. Uh-huh. Then That's after, next door, savage thing. then after, uh, I had another woman come round. That was later on. My girl was all texting me, calling me. Shall I come over? I was like, nah, just wait till tomorrow. Had that one. She stayed over, and then um, I went to go and see my girl the next day. So I felt. Kind of, I felt so, so how did you feel? I felt good. Where you sat? Because I wanted to know that I can do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of the men that can do that. This is you know what I'm saying? How, how old this, was you at this time? This is, I was just saying you as a big man, innit? N- yeah, this was a while ago, man. Mm. I was like, what, 23? So how old are you now? 23. Classified. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? You're a man child. Classified. King, how old are you, man? No, no, I'm younger than you lot still. Yeah, okay. But late, late 20s. Yeah. Whatever, he's definitely mm. like 33, 34. Mm. Fuck is he talking about? 89, 90. And how old are you then? About, about the same as you, classified. Is it? <laughs> classified. Oh, so my wish, you know, is my one, yeah, but your yeah, one's yeah, classified. I know yours. We're the same, bro. We're, We're the not same. the same. We're Tana. the same. We can Watch. never be the you're, same. Well, do you not get, we, we could definitely never be the same. Because you're high. So why are you saying we were the same? Bitches in one day, but no, I'm the, just, they asked me a question. I answered the question. Yeah, no, I know, it's not a hype. No, I'm saying at the if time. It was like, oh my at the God, time you was 23, everyone, I would have thought the same. You're right. You were the same. I would have thought the same at 23. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Tana, I know I'm right. Produce. Okay, so Rich, have you ever... What would you do? Is that the only time you've been in a situation like that, or have you have you been a repeat offender? Um, no, I had another girlfriend where like my ex started talking to me again. She came round, and then I met up with her. But I didn't fuck her or do nothing. I just met up with her. And I kind of felt bad about it, but charge it. Innit? It's normal, isn't it? Normal shit. What's normal? Just shit that happens, isn't it? It's just real life, isn't it? Like as a man, sometimes. You just give in to temptation, in it, right? And that's just how it goes, in it. Like no one's perfect, in it. Mm. You know. How old were you at that time? What well, this was like? This was like two years ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So how did you feel about that one? I feel I actually felt bad that time, that's and that's why I think like gross. now yeah, I I gross. wouldn't do any of that kind of stuff now. Mm-hmm. Mm. But like them times there, I didn't give a crap. Yeah, because you was care. young, innit? So, so now bare like back and that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Beer, bad, yeah. beer diseases and that. So do you feel no like diseases, man? Don't try it, blood. <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I, you back. So what? You never. Man, it's not that outbreak, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> nah, don't try it. <laughs> right, so you see, in the one day, yeah, did you strap yeah. up in that one day, or just everything was just bare back, running everything? Nah, was just... the first one was strapped up, but then the second one was a bit mad still. Because you know the morning, you know the morning one. You know, no one in the morning, no one's looking for. Oh, let me go in the drawer and get the rubber. Like you're just doing your thing, innit? Just, yeah, yeah. That's it. Morning was in it. Your mic's gonna be funny, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I heard that too. Me too. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Kevin? Yeah. You said that um, you wouldn't do that now. Mm. Can I just ask why you feel you wouldn't do that now? What's changed? Because like now, I just feel like I don't need to lie. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like like BMT, like, I don't need to lie. Is, is what it is. If I if I get in a relationship with a girl, first it's gonna take long before I get in a relationship with a girl. I have to know I'm sure, and then like now. Like minimum a year. Not what to get in a relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say a year, that's a bit long still, but like a f- good few months. Like, and I need to see, and do you know where it is? Yeah, you need to go through ups and downs with that person, yeah, 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 you yeah. need to know what they're capable of doing in it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. What are they like when they're out with their friends and you're not there? Do 
Do you I get think what I'm saying? That's why he said a year because there's four seasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. you. I feel you. But like, you know, I think a lot can happen. Even in, even in a month, a lot can happen, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I wouldn't really put a time, a strict time frame on it. But like, you need to, you so need some time like. to find out. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Thank you, thank you for your sense. So we're gonna move on swiftly. Yeah, on to this one, Miss Wilshire. That's this one. <laughs> Miss Wilshire. Now you was trying to bring smoke my way in it. So I wasn't. Obviously. I was just you was, asking you was. because do you know what? For me, I'm gonna be honest. I gonna go to your thing. But, like, mm-hmm. I wanted to know if it made you feel like a man because, like, I'm still triggered on the fact that you said that kicking girls out of your show makes you feel like a man. I was like, just I'm joking, I'm still triggered. Man. No, okay, so you, you didn't, it, didn't, it doesn't make you feel like a I man. I said I was just joking. Oh, okay. You wasn't the, listening. The, the man, the, the, it making you feel like a man part, I was still triggered on that. I'm sorry. But I think every girl, ready to go. You know what? that energy away. But, but you, you know what, right, yeah? I, I, I'm going to shut up now. I think every girl that I kicked out learned something that day. That they can't talk they to you. They learn that they heart. don't like you and they learn that you're a dick. No, no, That's hopefully. Ho- okay, let me let me rephrase it. Hopefully they learned something that day. But you I can't just talk anyhow. I, okay, but because yeah, every man, yeah, yeah, men know that you can't just talk anyhow. Because the <laughs> the danger of getting but punched you know in the what, face you know, is. But there. the thing is the, uh, but the thing <laughs> is, is like there's a part of me that understands where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's definitely a part of me that understands where you're coming from. Because if you talk to a nigga any type of way in his house, you're getting kicked out. So yeah, I get it, I totally understand where you're coming from. But it was the fact of you saying, No, but that's his space. He's paid for his space. No, but it's just no, a respect. It's just did, a respect. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. He said, if you come into my house and stand on my face, yeah, yeah, the, shoes. he doesn't no, want to so say I was a bit anything. No, but, but what, I get what, it. Okay, so space, what I was yeah. saying yeah, is that that's my show. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, even, yeah, it, yeah, even anything. So I get it. It was just when they asked, when I think you asked him how he felt or someone asked him how he felt, he said it before. Like you asked him how he felt and he said a man. That was the only part. I didn't care about him kicking the So you just heard that selective. No, I didn't care about that part. That was the part that was triggering. So I asked the question. Yeah, so what was the delivering bit? What was the bit that went boom? Right inside. Was the part where he said it made him feel like a man? Why would it make you feel like a man to mm. kick someone out? Mm. Different whether they did stand strokes. on your sofa or whether they did drop a drink in your house or shit all over your toilet, wherever it was. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like that's that's the disrespect. Yeah. Basically, he's yeah. saying he's comparing. But he was somebody. joking. He was joking. Just no, but I didn't know that. I asked him because he's so right. Yeah, I asked him. I'm just saying it made him feel like a man. Selective. It's not selective. Yep. You didn't hear nothing I else. Say, I, I said a lot of things. Like a man. But anyway, okay. So and she's been giving you evils ever since. Because I've been out bad times. Yeah. So let's stick to that. I'm cool. Thanks. Let's go. So you send. It's kind of hard to say my sins because, like, mm. I actually was thinking about before I came here. Like, the last time I did it, I just, it was just, like, off the bat when I did my sin last time. But I feel like I said my sin already. Like, the next sin I'm going to say is just going to be some bullshit. It's not even really going to be a sin for real. So can we remix it then? When the last time you done something for the first time? Mm. Done something for the first time? Mm. Oh, you got her with that one there. Look, she's even thinking. I'm trying to think about that. <laughs> I haven't done nothing for the first time recently. I remember recently saying though, this is the first time I've ever done this. I, I haven't. Yeah, I've what. never, I've never done, I've never done anything for the first time recently. Mm. I'm gonna be real. I ain't done for the first time. So, t- yeah. can't you tell us about a sin that you did overseas when you was in America <laughs> in that decade? <laughs> <laughs> I already told that sin last time. I didn't hear it. And that it was cheating on my husband. That's oh, wow. the, that was my last yeah. sin. That's okay. like last time, yeah. Yeah, it's so the only other chin, the only other chin, the only other sin I was gonna like remix was yeah. I've slept with someone else's boyfriend again. <laughs> I said, oh. is that was that someone after you know. is that after the situation with you <laughs> with your ex husband with me cheating with my ex husband? Yeah, yeah, it's it more, it's more recent actually. Yeah, it's wow. more recent. It's more recent. I've definitely was, slept with someone else's boyfriend, but I didn't know them. I didn't know them. How did that make you feel? I was sad. I was so sad when I found out I was. How did you find out? Did he come first? Was, no, I just knew. You know, women intuition. <laughs> How did you know though? What were the signs? By actions. You had to leave by the morning or what? Yeah, definitely. So you was a side dish as well. Leaving before six a.m. As well. As I, I'm gonna be honest. As I, well it was Hoover. definitely given side, but I definitely was planting, and I like planting uh, with every meal. You said that. Can I, ask, can I ask a question? You know, no, it's no, barman. No, no. Barman. Oh, it's a barman that we can't even see. Yeah, you can't see him. I told you that's the one with the big belly. You get the big belly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a front over there. He's got a front. No, no, no. Are you fine? She's upset because of her body count. That's all it is. It was. That's all it is. We're gonna argue. We're gonna argue again today. I'll give me again today because today I'm squaring I, up. I don't argue. I'm squaring up today. I don't argue. I mean, it's, okay. it's giving you're going to go home with a tummy tuck. 
Nah. <laughs> 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 but, but what's your body count? Not missable shot. So, Go on. My question is, do you find men that are in, already in something more attractive? No, I didn't know. I kept doing it after. Mm. I didn't care what people them. So when you found out, I didn't care what the people them man. I didn't care. Yeah, when you when you found out, did you go back? Yeah, I didn't care. She just said she didn't care. I didn't care. It was the people them man, but it was what it was. I don't know. She's not my friend. I don't know. She's not my friend. She's not my friend. I don't know. She's not your business. And he's for everybody. At this point, I don't. I see no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. <laughs> so most I don't know the people. Yeah, I don't know the people. That man, I don't. I, I don't know the girl. <laughs> you never blow him up. I know the man, but I don't know the man. Huh? You didn't blow him up. You never DM the girl on it, did you? No, I would never do that. If she came to me, I'm gonna say I do not know that man. <laughs> no, I, mean. I do not know that man. No. I've never seen that man. <laughs> She's, keep, she's keeping your secrets, she is. Do not know that man. But yeah, definitely, yeah, sleeping with the people that man. That's it a was good so side sad. Chick. It was sad. It was sad finding yeah. out. No, no, but I'm not a good side because you got to pay like you weigh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part. Because mm-hmm. when you don't pay like you weigh, it's he was out paying here. You. No, I'm saying you, you have, like, it's not giving pay. It's definitely giving I have to be comfortable in mm-hmm. the situation, though. Because mm-hmm. if I know how it's over with, I'm going to be honest. If I have mm. a visual of a bitch. How much does he have to pay you? It's not giving pay me, it's just giving uh, my money. lifestyle, yeah. my whole lifestyle. All right, how much lifestyle? Like, well, you have to do your, get your nails pay for your nails. Bills. Trips. It's giving bills. It's not giving nails. I can pay for my nails. My nails are 45 pounds. I can pay for my nails. So what bill do um, you need to cover? Bills. All of them. <laughs> All of them? Yeah. How long for? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> for as long as the so relationship? You'd, you'd be a side <laughs> chick forever. <laughs> Um, if he's paying uh, your no, bills, he'll, no, he'll no, be no, a side chick forever. No, I'm not going to be a, a side bitch that's going to stick around for a very, very, but very long did, time. But you did, though. You stuck around for a while, No, though. no, no. I left the situation, but I'm How just long? saying. How long was he fucking him for? A while. There you go. A while. Let's go. And if the money was right, I would have stayed longer. Do you think it... Mm. What, what's, is it the safest... Would you say being a side chick sometimes is the safest No, position? she didn't say side chick. Let's just pick I up on I never that. said that. You he said, lied to me. You no, 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 no. Hold on. You said... I no, can't be a side knows. bitch. She said, I can't be a side bitch for too long. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, no, but I'm saying once she knows that there's someone else, then she, yeah, she knows already, what she's in. So already, I'm saying... No, okay. At the point where I know it's something, there's something else going on, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely real with you. I try to be the non-nag side bitch, like the one that will be like, oh, I'm not going to just keep talking about your bitch. But eventually mm. I'm going to keep talking about your bitch and it's going to go sour. Like straight purpose. away, it's going to give a month. It's going to give a month. Once, If you lie to me, let's just say we end up fucking with each other. I mm-hmm. find out you have a bitch I didn't know about her. It's mm-hmm. giving a month. I'm going to be honest. I, I I can get niggas. I'm not. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't so what if a man from the jump, he just says, yo, I got a woman, but I'm good I like on you. Yeah. I'm good on you. You're going to pass. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I'm going to be so honest. So basically like, the guy has to lie at first. Because you know what I think it is? for a month. Well, it is because once you've been no, tricked it's, it's out not, of your it's pussy, not, it's not giving yeah. that that's it, it, okay. I'm gonna be honest. What difference does it no, make? No, no, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be honest. That's right. If you want to be manipulative, uh, manipulative, so guys just lie to these girls. Yeah, lie. There you go. No, but I'm saying you're 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 tricking yourself. No, because what I'm trying to say is, yeah, is if a man has a woman and he's not forthcoming about that, mm-hmm. yeah, and he pursues you and you two get into something and then you yeah, two okay. become intimate, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, you've just tricked me out my pussy. Yeah. You didn't tell me. And I've already woman. fucked you. Do you at understand? This point. So at this so point, I've already fucked like, you. There's a lot so of other at stuff the end that of comes the day, with that. Mm-hmm. Sorry, let me. I'm yeah. coming. I'm coming. For no, I get it. But how many times has that happened? Yeah, like you're saying, he's tricked you to get your pussy. Can't you see the signs? Do you know Has what? Yeah, no, again? I'm just. Who said can't you see the signs? What? Um, no, no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Was. Majority of the time, men are very smart about the signs until you've slept with them. Especially in the UK, they assume a lot of women don't want to make their body count go up. They don't want to be crazy. They don't want to be out here fucking with everybody. So let's just say, me and you are talking. You've manipulated me. You might not even be talking. You might have broke up with your bitch for like a month. Mm-hmm. And you're able to stay past six. You're able mm-hmm. to be around. It's only after now you might have a, a child for this person. Mm-hmm. You might have obligations with them. <laughs> so now it's gone to that. Yeah. But I'm already thinking I'm in. Yeah. Technically, he hasn't lied if he's been broken up. No, I'm, but it's a trick though. It's still a trick. Can no. I say? Can I say I had a boyfriend a month ago? Yeah. It's not a trick. Yes, yeah. because he's that told is him. a trick. No, because I'm saying if he's told you that he's broken up with somebody, but they're not saying they broke up yesterday. Doesn't no matter. man is coming and saying I broke up yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. But I'm saying he, if he's told you that he's just broken up recently. Yeah, but you're lying about how how recent you broke up. No one says it was yesterday. No, but I'm saying at a point, okay, the first time you're yeah, called and you've been tricked, but I'm saying if this. Okay, I'm, that's the happens. only trick I'm talking about. I don't have okay. to have multiple tricks. I'm talking about okay. the one trick for me to even give you my drawers in the first place. Do you know mm-hmm. what it was? Yeah, he said about, oh, I can't be a side bitch for too long. So that's why I'm like, you know, like, if you've been oh, okay, tricked, yeah. I'm see that. Do you know what I mean? It's not about. Yeah, once you actually find out. 
How much pussy do you get? Yeah. Say again. I said, how much pussy do you get? I'm married. Oh. oh she tried it. 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 Did, did, did she give you? Did she fuck? We're not going to talk about that. Okay. She, she, she tried it. Okay. okay. I, just, I was just wondering. So we're moving on. So if you have to miss Why are you giving ad libs? Married to here, your left hand. Explain right why you giving ad libs. Do you even know that nigga already? It doesn't matter. He's not even your friend. You're just giving ad libs for the sake of giving ad libs. You tried it. She tried it. You told me to say that. That was out of nowhere. Just giving ad libs. No, because he said to me. He said to me. He said something to me about my body count. I don't even know. Don't, 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 don't say her acting like he's a victim. I wasn't talking about you still. Don't say her acting like he's a fucking victim. Listen, he's a girl. Nah, I'm not no victim. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that part. Big fucking girl. Okay, let's go. Moving on swiftly. Muscles or not, you can get boxed away. Moving on swiftly. I'm faster than I look. Gunshot, gunshot, gunshot. Anytime you hear the gunshot, we're moving on swiftly. To Tana. So, Tana. Yeah. Me, I'm uh, like what's your sin, Tana? What is your biggest sin? There's too many, I'm afraid, mate. There's too many. Well, tell yeah. us about your favorite. Tell us about your favorite one. I don't have any favorite ones. Let me tell you. Okay. Um, no, tell us about the one that you enjoyed the most, and then it, you realize actually this is fucked up. That's the mo- that's the one. I want. I, and I know what you want, and I can't give it to you. <laughs> no, because he's because, a respectable man now. Because there, it's not that. It's not. <laughs> no, just share what you. There was like nothing. There was nothing pretty about. No, like there was about nothing like good about. He's got a reputation. Yeah, though. he's got a reputation. Oh yeah, where you are yeah. now. He's got, yeah. he's got yeah. celebrity clients. But do you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, let me yeah. let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me let me let me. No, no, I can answer. The, no, I can, answer, I can answer, answer the question. But I could see what my man was saying over there, and I just wanted to clarify that there, there isn't anything. I feel ashamed of how I live my life. Right, so much. Sorry, stuff. stop you there. Let me rephrase it. Yeah. At the moment, though, oh, yeah. I'll get it. That now, looking, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was disgusting and rare. I'm saying, in the moment of committing the sin, okay, one that you actually enjoyed, but then upon reflection, oh, at the time, you mean? Okay. Yes, and Sorry. then upon reflection, now you're looking like, uh. Like, I really wanted to address a point, brother. I know. <laughs> I know we're gonna move brother. on. Can you? Okay, can, what was that? You, you two should have a separate show. I'm together. gonna answer. I'm one. gonna answer it. But before I do, okay, go on. my vulnerable request to you is to stop referring to you as a side bitch and stop referring to them men as N words. Right? <laughs> no, 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 I'll tell you why. I've right? been told that I, a lot. I'll though. tell you why though. Right? Oh, number one, because I'm an old man. Clearly, right? I felt I feel fucking old. I'm so glad I'm married and got a nine year old and haven't got to get into this madness. But the reason why I say that is because those words have meaning. It's powerful. It's why Bruce Lee said what he said. That's why they call it spelling because they cast spells. Okay. It's very powerful, right? If I call myself a side bitch, or you—that's you, what you are. Like it's like you're, you're a woman. You're like, and that she's not a bitch. She's another woman, <laughs> right? If we start, Sorry. if we start <laughs> acting like that, and I know it sounds like I'm on my soapbox, so no, I have to no, be no, careful. No, 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 hold on, no, don't no, you no, think? No, don't you think there's a difference? Don't you think? No, I hear that. I'm not saying she definitely is, but I'm saying don't you think there's some characters though that fall into that umbrella? Yes, and there is a difference in what we mean and what we're saying. But sometimes the undertone of what we're really saying, subconscious, yeah, and then we're sort of attracting that. I'm trying to be a better person. I totally agree. And with I'm not you, going sir. for you. I'm not. No, I'm just, no, I know. I'm love trying to it. think how can I add value. Oh, you're, try, you're trying to, today. Yeah, to no, make 100%. me a Wake better up. version of myself. I yeah. promise you, I will do better. Well, because when, yeah. this I'm is a this so is a different sorry. type of podcast for me to do. This is no, new, right? right? And yeah. with my ADHD, so well, I'm popping so all over the gap. Join the club. No, 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 no. You're just being. No, I'm being. No, no, no. I wasn't going. I agree. No, I agree, though. I agree. I just want to try. Otherwise, I feel shame. No, don't, don't. I've never been a sad bitch. Don't feel ashamed. I don't. I don't mean to. To, to I'm not. I'm that. just gonna because uh, that's not what I'm saying. No, I, no what? I'm, I'm saying I feel say? shame because I. I what did you say? One at a time. One at a time. If I didn't understand where you're coming from, I wouldn't feel no shame. It's you. Okay, one right. second. But one I second. actually understand, and I want to okay. be a better version of myself. Thank you. Yeah. So okay. you saying that to me is actually <laughs> giving me something. I want to reassure not, not you. Yeah. Me anything, yeah. Absolutely. It's because yeah. and I say this because I didn't want better for myself, and I spoke to myself in that way. I called myself the c-word all the time, looking yourself in the mirror. See next Tuesday. Yeah. Just for I won't drop it on a pod, but you know. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? All the time. No, You're agree. a piece of I shit. Agree. You're nothing. Yeah, I so do, you, do you believe words are life? Do I? Yeah, so if, it's you, keep, talking if, you, keep saying it, if you keep saying something, yes. it's actually going to yeah, yeah. make your mind think that yeah, it's the yeah. truth. Thoughts become things, but can oh, we... You know sorry, that? I just need to steer, sorry, we steer need to the boat back gunshot. to you. Yeah, steer the boat back to the, okay, steer the, the sin. Boat back. Okay, the sin. Um, let's keep it in line with, uh, I guess, some other theme of what we're talking about, relationships and stuff, maybe. Um at the time, I don't think I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I kind of knew, right? So there I am, not drinking, not using anymore. And then I used women like they were drugs. Mm. Okay. So they were my new drug. Mm-hmm. She'll mm-hmm. fix me. 
-hmm. She'll fix me. This is the one. This is the one. Have the sex. She's not the one. Oh, fuck. All right. I'll be in it all the time. And it wasn't until someone pointed out, maybe you should not be in relationships such a until influence. you know what you How what often you was you trapping and changing? Right. And in this particular time in the nightclub, um, and it was all coming from a low self-worth, low self-esteem place. Finding yourself, though. But I had the big ego and a low self-esteem. So working in the nightclub gave me that ego. Working and doing what I was doing in that nightclub gave me the ego. Mm -hmm. But I was still hollow inside. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had basically... Three girlfriends in, um, they came to the same club. At the same time? At the same time. Jesus. It was like a fucking movie. It was ridiculous. What right. you said? Yeah, that's How what did I said. Yeah. So, so, so you was fucking with all of them and they all I, came I, was, I didn't say fucking. Oh. And but I you was, said girlfriend. You said you had three girlfriends, so you must have been fucking. And this is the problem. Oh, okay, girlfriends, right? girlfriends. No. Let, oh, girl, yeah, but friends. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Okay. Let me share my shit. Do you think Cool. So basically, um, these were girls that uh, I was seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, we we just exchanged numbers. It was very new. Been on a couple of dates, whatnot. And so we weren't like boyfriend and girlfriend, right? So we were just dating. Mm -hmm. And all three of them come to the club. And this floor, this club had three floors. So I had one lady. She was upstairs, and one downstairs, and one on the middle floor. Mm -hmm. And I tried to coordinate it and keep them there, and it was fucking exhausting. I'll be like, Dave, get her a drink, will you, mate? Yeah, but back in a minute, love you. Back in a minute, I go downstairs and go, hey, Dean, you all right? You enjoying it? Yeah, great. Back in a minute, back in a minute, get her a drink, drink. Yeah, lovely. And oh, I was like that all night. How? All I, fucking night. So and you see, at this how point, you, yeah, go on. How, uh, was you a player or a liar? No, I was not. I was neither. Mm. Uh, I wanted to, I like the idea of being a player because that's self worth, again, validation, mm. low self esteem, right? Mm. So there I am running around like a nutcase and thinking like I'm going to have a heart attack. And me thinking I'm smart and clever and nobody knows and this is really empowering and all this kind of stuff, this bullshit, I fed myself. They figured me out straight away. They figured me out that night. And I feel really pissed because I ruined the opportunities there that could have been. And that was my problem. I would go over to the shiny and sometimes I'd ignore what was really in front of me. And one of the ladies there, she was, she, two of them, they were really great. And I ruined something that could have been. So I do regret that, messing around with them. And that wasn't nice. That was unkind. Um, and they figured me out straight away. She said, I know you're here with somebody else. And I know you're here with somebody else. And I know you're here. And it's like, oh, mate. And slowly, one by one, they went. And you know what? I, saw, I swear to God, when they left, the ego was bruised. I was like, fucking hell, fucked it. Rejection. Rejection. But the second thing I said was, thank God. It's self-sabotage, though. It's, it's not really rejection. You, you kind of blew yourself up. I blew myself up. Yeah. They yeah. said, go so it's away. Not, it's not rejection, but really. Sometimes, I know I why felt you rejected. said you was happy, because it's like a reset for you. It was yeah. a reset. And I said, thank God, yeah. this yeah. behavior needs to change. What are you doing, boy? Like, what yeah. are you doing? Like, these are people. These are people's lives. Mm -hmm. And all for you to get your fix. Mm -hmm. And you just become this idiot. Like, and, mm -hmm. I've done that, and I just... Uh, I've lost. So, so at that time, how often did you feel like you needed, to, you needed that in order for you to have, like, those three women at that time? Like, at, what was your, like, your sex drive at that time? I needed something because I'm not drinking. I'm not using but fucking I mean, like, How often a day... See, the amount is not what constitutes a sex addiction. No, I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm, no, I'm just saying just to answer your question. Yeah. The amount. The sex I'm just saying for you personally, I'm not talking about what makes it addiction. It could be once a week, and if you feel like yeah. you just have to have it, then that's still an, that's still so an you addiction. A sex but I yeah. mean, like, how often for you personally, for you having those three people, that's the yeah. only reason why I'm asking Yeah, that. no, I understand what you're saying. So, um, and that, well, the nightclub was open from Friday to Sunday, so it was every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Um, so that that behavior would go on. When does it... Can I, can I, what, can I ask you a question, please? Yeah, on, you said you were a sex one. addict. Yeah. Um, no, I'm a sex therapist. Oh, you're a sex therapist. Sex addiction therapist. <laughs> okay, okay. Please, a sex addict. But you can label me how you want. I, you, you know, it's payback. You've already got come back. I already learned about you. You've got, you got something cooking in the back. <laughs> and then I'm fucked. So, no, I know. just want to know you. Yeah, like, um, is sex omnia a thing? Is sex omnia a thing? Yeah. yeah. Is that actually a thing? It yeah, it is a thing. thing. It's not my area of expertise, but it's definitely a mm -hmm. thing. Okay. What is sex omnia? Do you want to explain no, no, it? you explain <laughs> it. You brought it up. You brought it up. But I don't, I don't know much about it. So um, people have sex in it. their sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. What? Yeah. They say no, that's that. a dream. What? Yeah. No, like that's people, people have that. sex in their sleep. Yeah. Yeah. What, like, like a wet dream. It's like no, a succubus, isn't no, it? It's no, a, like a spiritual if somebody's side to actually it. laying next to you, and actually will have sex with them. Yeah. It's an area of sleep. And they'll be, and they'll be like, like they won't. They'll be subconscious. You want to fuck them while they they're asleep? No, no. It's if the person who suffers from sexomnia initiates sex when they're sleeping. Is that right? Yeah. 
Yes. Say that again. The person who suffers with sexomnia initiates sex when they're sleeping. Yeah, because mm-hmm. if, is that if, right? If, for example, yeah. if it's a man, like not me, I don't have sex if, if, it's a, if it, it, it can happen for women that too. That sounds mad still. If you're a man or, yeah. you're, or a woman in your sleep, you feel like you want to have sex and somebody is next to you, you will initiate that, sex in your sleep. It's kind of like well, sleep normal though, It's kind of like, but you're it's kinda like no, sleep You're talking about, you're talking about no, in a relationship. I'm no, saying no. if so why, sleep, why you don't even know you had it? sex with them the next because day. Because he said he's a sex therapist and oh. I just wanted to know you're if it's a real thing. You're in your sleep. And you're trying so you're to have actually sex. sleep. Okay. You feel well, horny. Like, <laughs> you feel horny, so you do the shit you would do if you was awake. So, so hold on. Do you know what? It's like sleep 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 sex 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 that's not me being because I've seen this podcast, you know, mm. and I've watched some of the episodes, and some, uh, you know, I was speaking to a couple of guys before, and I was like, "Fuck it, hell, some of the sins." I just thought there's no, <laughs> that, you know, that's me being judgmental, I guess. Yeah. Like, there's no like uh, different shame in different it. For, for, everyone's everyone's in different, places, different yeah. but I'm very much attached to my uh, uh, to my feelings, and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and more men talking about feelings is important. That's another story, but mm-hmm. so I'm aware of that, and I'm not saying it to be smart. That's just something I did, one many of many things. But it wasn't because I thought I was a big shot. It was because actually I felt like shit. I mm-hmm. was nothing and I was looking for you to fix me. And that's quite common in a lot of relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I do regret that greatly. But I was 23, 24, mm-hmm. you know, and I was, it's no excuse, but I was young. I wouldn't never do that, as my man said, I wouldn't do that now um, because I know where it, we're coming from. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so that was what, what happened, if that makes sense. Well, you know, when you, upon reflection, you know, you say, these things that you regret. Yeah. But when you actually check it, do you agree that if you didn't go through those things, yeah. you probably wouldn't be at this stage right now. You won't be the able man to, who you able are to, today. Able to, be, able to connect with your yeah. clients. Yeah. Like, you're not just someone that's saying, oh, yeah, I read about this. You're like, you know what? It, I've it? been yeah, I was I would I wouldn't be married to the woman I'm married to today and I wouldn't have a beautiful nine-year-old daughter that I've got today. I know that for a fact. Did you open up to, <laughs> did you open up to her about everything? She knows me inside out. Mm. And she's the only woman I've ever been with I can be my true, authentic self. Fair enough. And mm. that is blessed, man. You, you can't... 100%. That's all I ever wanted. We were talking earlier on, that, uh, y- y- you know, and you were saying, and I agree with you, sometimes we do put that performance on, you know, sometimes we give a version of ourselves to impress, like the animals, you know. School, it's, it's, it's that's natural. normal. It's actually yeah. natural. Because we want to find a mate, we want to bond. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. See me, see me, recognise me, peacocking, I'm good. Yeah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We'll be peacocking. No diddy. Peacocking, right. No diddy, yeah, but that's what it's called, peacocking. Yeah, and then you chase the oxytocin for about nine months, you know, you want that connection with each other, and oxytocin, and that settles, and then you see the real person. Then sometimes you go, that's not a bit of me or that is a bit mm-hmm. of me mm-hmm. you know and that's that's how it is I mean I was talking to a guy the other day I was so I'd always be whoever you want me to be I never knew who I, who I really was and I remember mm. I, <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing to share the story but um, I developed I was pretty I'm pretty that's good at it. accents I can do lots of different accents it's just the way it is it's just do a, a scale it's I just heard you do hey mate yeah, 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 everybody goes for bumble club you know tell them how people let me bless up now anyway we're going to move on from there Right, so we do lots of accents. Anyway, I was um, I was dating this this girl. He says, "Well, again, self esteem. Well, I'll be who you want me to be, and all this kind of stuff." And if I'm around certain people, if I'm in Birmingham long enough, I'll be like, "All right, I can't help it. It will be. It will come out." But when you're in Dudley, <laughs> when, I, when you're in Dudley, that's oh, change that. Not when you're in Dudley. Dudley. That's Dudley. Dudley. Yeah. Sorry, I got <laughs> black country, chocolate. The, the yum yum and the yow. Black country. I need to work on that. All right. So anyway, um, so I had this stupid accent. Um, Basically, I had a roadman accent, which was ridiculous, right? So I was speaking to this girl. <laughs> it was yeah. going well, give us an exp- no, 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 impression, no, no. man. Go on, man. It wasn't cool. Yeah, go on, please. Just go on, man. Just what these No, man. Yeah, go on, man. Just say go on, man. You can't do that and not say it, bro. I know, like... Let me finish, finish my story. I know. Why no, no, the roadman accent? You've got energy over here. Add character to the story. Can I just say, I'm a re- I was listening, right? And you just heckling my accent. No, I've got to hear the roadman accent. Okay, And I'll leave you alone. Yeah, stop that living, man. It wasn't... It wasn't... Cool road man, I don't think then I'm sound old now, but like it just wasn't. But like everyone was it was just London. I was around my mates in London that lived in London, everyone was like, What's good? What's good? Everything like blessing it. Yeah, what are you saying? You know, and then it was it was kinda like that. It was just like, Yeah, I see you, I see you in it, I see you in it, I see you in it. And then 
And then I'd, it would switch, you know, and I'd be yeah. like, oh, I'm out of fuck. I ain't doing I'm right. I'm going to see you. And it was just, I was just so lost. Anyway, yeah. I, it started going classes. well with this girl. And, she, and <laughs> I started thinking, I need to lose this accent. How the mm. fuck am I going to let the Essex boy out, right? So I was like, shit. So anyway, I started to try and dull it down, water it down, a bit like yours. You know, you've got American English going on. I was trying to bring it in like that. Yeah. And then one day she went, what happened to your accent? I went, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just like <laughs> around people, and it's what happens around people, and just you know, like is it a condition though that you so can like pick up on that? Thing, isn't it? it happens to me like if if I go to London, you know me, if I'm around, yeah, yeah, if I'm yeah. around my London bridges for a bit, straight away, boom, bam, bim, I'm talking like that. It just happens. See, I do the and same thing, but only because yeah. I feel like they don't understand no. me though. He's done it about four times on this yeah, show. I do, yeah, yeah, I've heard him. I've heard you. I've heard you. But I do that like how we were saying American. It's like. I, I feel like uh, he said it when I get ang- or someone said it when I get angry like I feel like being in America for so long like I uh, whenever mm. someone was angry when I said something to them I felt like they didn't understand me so I had to cuss them in their own thing okay. it's like if you're in Jamaica or if you're African yeah. or wherever you are mm. when you're cussing someone you got to cuss them with their own mm. thing yeah, 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 yeah. you can't be coming like with your saying. own like because oh 100%. you fucking can yeah, 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 you gotta yeah, yeah, be like yeah, yeah, yeah. suck your mother damn you know what I'm saying I'm just saying like if you're in Jamaica you got to come with your yeah, thing. because I was actually thinking that's the only time I actually do that. I, when I'm ne- I would never tell someone suck them on here. Never let me loose in Jamaica. That's all I'm saying. That that accent is you my favorite there, accent in the whole world. They would love you there. You're fine. Oh, you're uh, wife, your wife. It's my accent, favorite wife. accent. What yeah, about my wife? But if you, no, I said, I said, well, you I bring was, my wife. What do you bring my wife? No, into this? I was gonna say you said that they would love you in Jamaica. No, I, I didn't say that. Would. I said you never let me lose in Jamaica because I'll just be, well, I'll probably I get punched in the face doing their accent all the time. No, they, they appreciate it. People did tell me the no, fuck. No, that's the part. No, they think it's a fuck show. I said the fuck way. They think it's a fuck show. Yeah, fuck you. People tell me the fuck way. The Jamaican woman, the Jamaican woman, when you're doing the accent, will be on you. That's why I'm. It's my favorite accent. It's you know. So, so Tana, quick question. Yeah, go on. Let's move on. for a mate. Yeah, when do you actually? <laughs> become a sex addict. You How do you know when you're a sex addict? You no, see, I told you, oh, you, you try to get a bit more Essex now. It happens, it happens. It happens, all right, sorry, yeah. mate. Go on, what are you saying? About the sex addict. About sex addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, remember, all addictions, any addiction, a lot of people focus on the amount. So they might yeah. think that, you know, say alcoholic, right? they think everyone's drinking every day. That doesn't yeah. necessarily mean you're an alcoholic. You could so be a heavy drinker. Ice. Right, <laughs> talking to drink. Any, any more ice? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All I know is I asked the lady for a drink and she came back with a bottle of water. Like, what, what do you mean it's not your fault? Like, what happened? I asked for some what, juice. What drink did you want? Juice? I asked for some no apple gratitude juice. at not all. This. Some people. Nah, I, 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 I said somebody had to walk ten miles for some water no, today. You know no that, apple yeah? juice. I did say that to you. There was no apple no, juice left. Do you want? The there's some in the fridge. Ain't none in the fridge. I went in the fridge earlier. Nah, apple there's no apple juice. Hey there, carry on with the sex addiction. That's why I said to you, do you want something else? Sorry, you've made me feel bad. I feel like a diva now. I want my fucking cup. That's what I want. I don't know what you did with your cup because I ain't got it. Well, it's all right. Let Don't me, worry. Let me get some ice. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I've dr- I drink from the bottle. I've drank enough from bottles, so it's fine. She, yeah. she kept um, your cup to okay. keep it as a souvenir. Mm. Uh, she likes your saliva. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, it's not the amount to answer your question. Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk about. That. And so when people say sex addiction, they think, oh, that would be all right, wouldn't it? That's a good one to have. Okay, so, so okay, so if I have sex, if I feel like I have, to, it's more about the have to, right? It's about the relationship. Because like, okay, no, it's for example, no, no, but I mean like, like one me feeling was... like I'm actually addicted to it. For example, I could have sex every day. Thank you. But if I don't feel like like it's the relationship with it, like. It's a need. It's a want. It's like a, not not a want, but a like a need, like a requirement. Like I can't do without it. I would go fucking on the bus from all the way from here to London <laughs> to be able to have sex with that. That's more of a relation, even if it's three times a week. That's more of an addiction than me having someone at home and wanting to have sex with them every day. Yeah, it's a relationship with the substance. Yeah, that's what the, I mean. Yeah. So yeah. it's not. So a sex addict. Isn't about the amount of sex they're having. Because it's the relationship people... that they have with Sorry, se- yeah. with sex. I know you apologise no. a lot. It's all right. Let me let me let my ass land. Okay, yeah, right. shit. Throw in there, though. I want you to. You, I can tell you, you put two ADHD is together, <laughs> right? It's no, never did that. Because I'm with there's you. There's three. There's three. It's it's free. Free. Yeah. So hear what? Hear what, yeah, Tana? When you answer that, yeah, I want you to answer it in a relationship. Yes. And as a single person. Okay, sir. So, mm. so, so that's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the in a in what sense? So explain. When do you when do when do you become yeah like, when do you become like, an addict like okay, in a right. relationship okay. you could just be highly set so yeah? it's about it, there's a, right, so there's a big difference so remember I said about a, 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 um, a heavy drinker and an alcoholic could consume the same yeah. doesn't mean the heavy drinker is an alcoholic it's the relationship with the alcohol that's the issue mm-hmm. take that away what's he like is he losing his shit is things going is he making everybody suffer for that what's mm-hmm. happening to that person so with a sex addiction 
It's the rationale behind it. So behind it, is it because I need validation? You know, yeah. I'm feeling, uh, some, people use sex, some people use sex to, to avoid intimacy. No, no, but sex is healing though. But it, hear me like out, but we're talking about people. sex addiction. We're not saying what yeah, sex yeah, yeah. is. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. in terms of the addiction, some people will use sex to mm-hmm. avoid intimacy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If you look at some of the young men today, right? And certainly I had that mentality when I was younger, right? You know, notch on the post, you know, the more partners, et cetera, et cetera, mm. et cetera. But that's not fulfilling. That's yeah. just another notch. But that's, that's not connection, right? Mm-hmm. Now, that's just, what do, you, what do you say on the show? Like the bodies or whatever that's, yeah, that's come counts. out. Yeah, I'm trying to sound cool now. Look, but some of the like, you know, body count or whatever it is. But, mm-hmm. but that's not what it is about. It's intimacy. It's about connection, isn't it? That's mm-hmm. really what it's about. So some people will uh, avoid intimacy through sex. Some people will... Um, be addicted to having sex with partners that don't know who they really are or they'll pay for it right mm-hmm. and i believe it's all linked with attachment trauma and opportunity mm-hmm. so is, is isn't everything though addiction? isn't everything linked to those three things that you just mentioned but specifically it's a very good point but not yeah. all the time not every time i've met people that are addicted to substances that have never been through childhood trauma mm-hmm. um and have brought, been brought up in a, in a in a good upbringing and, and everything they and nurtured and natured and all that kind of stuff, right? So, mm. but with with a sex addiction and sex and porn addiction especially, That's I work what with I a lot. They're both the same fingers. I work different. with a lot of men, yeah, yeah. And, and absolutely, and a lot of them. Some people will, will hide in porn because actually I felt mm. shamed you know, sexually. So now I'm going to just, my safety net is porn. Or why I can't keep... Be, why would they be shamed? Like what? Because their dick is small, Sam? Uh, can be, but not always that. It can be, oh, let's say, it went soft during during sex. And so she mm. thinks, oh, he's not into me. He thinks, it's fuck, she thinks I'm a shit lover. Now they're both in each other's head. They're not actually communicating with each mm-hmm. other because this is the problem with mm-hmm. people today is we don't communicate around, actually, I don't oh, really usually like Usually when a dick goes soft, that means you've been beating your meat too much, you know? That's not what it means. No, that's what it means. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Look, you don't want to guy, so I actually want to ask the question. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I want to ask you a little question. Is is like stage fright an actual thing? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just need to turn up. Yeah. You just need to open your legs. That's it. Like you're you're gonna do a good job. No, but no, like in comparison to the yeah, guy, yeah, to like, like, the, guy has to, uh, <laughs> the guy has to put in a performance. Like mm. like a lot of guys will just be expected in it. Yeah, like a lot of guys will be happy if the girl looks nice, bro. Like you did most of the work just by looking nice, blood. Mm. Like, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna bust a nut, hundred percent. Do you get what I'm saying? But whereas the girl agree. might not be I feel like, so many, I feel but like every sex is different. Women, but sadly, like, that it comes with um, one. You feeling like how your vagina might look? You might have um, a Roast worry beef about sandwich. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's loads <laughs> of things. You're saying you just gotta show up, but it's not giving that. It's giving like there's a lot of Blood, things for even women. Even if that your pussy like, smells like fish, yeah, a lot of guys are gonna still, still carry on. They don't oh, like. I'm already oh, here, bro. Yeah. Like I might as well just carry on, bro. I would like to say I would. I would. I would like to say. You know I would like to say I would hope bird's that eye. any guy I sleep with would not just be happy with any bird's eye. Happy with would what? leave. You me smell too. the whip. Yeah. You don't know what he's on. You don't know what he's on. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, it can be DV. Hope. Sometimes it could be DV. Sometimes it could be much worse. Sometimes it could be something much worse. Given by a guy, he would leave. Yeah, no, that's good hope. If you've got any, if you've got any respect for yourself, you would leave at that point. It could be gonorrhea. This is my example right now. This is what I'm saying because it could be BV but it could be something worse. But there it is right now, what That's we're listening scary. to, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So some of that creates shame, yeah. right? Shame-based. Addiction mm-hmm. is a shame-based illness. So the man over there saying, like, you know, all you've got to do is show up, but that's what works for him or, mm-hmm. or his understanding and his belief, which isn't wrong. Yeah, all I need to do is show up, bro. Right? So, but that's, so you feel confident <laughs> in that area. And I know you... No, 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 joke, no. I was saying the girl needs... No, what I was really saying is the girl just needs to show up. That's all she needs to do. But right. And be wet. And what there we do go. in this country is we generalise too much and we have to focus on the individual. That's what I was going to say. Too. And That's so someone might to listen to this and think, I'd love to be like what King's saying. Mm. How the fuck can I do that? I'd love to be able to do that. But I see no. this beautiful girl there and I go, fucking hell, I can't, can't, I can't believe I'm like with her. Like she's Just with me and all of a sudden. He's been watching 100%. porn, man. Let me, let me, let me ask been you, watching porn. do you think the way how we were educated on sex in England is what's kind of caused this whole uproar now. Because if you look at, like, I'm going to use, ne- ne- one second, I'm going to use Holland as an example, yeah? Their teenage but um, teenage pregnancies and 
back in the day, they were nowhere near as in England. There was like a lack of education around it. Mm. So, so they were, there's no, there's not that much shame around sex in, in Holland. It's normal. Well, no, they've got the red light district. Very, you can yeah. literally I'm men not even that, be though. walking up and down and they'll be taking notes. All right, she looked really good on this street. I'm going to go on that street, see what they're saying. Okay, but no, but she looked really, now I'm just going to start I'm comparing that, and then I'm going to figure I'm out where they're going to money. More educated no, on sex health. They educated yeah. little yeah. kids from young. Yeah. Like from, from about yeah. Why do you think that's a good thing though? Yeah, 100%. I feel like sex education is very important. I think, because I would be honest, I think it depends. Like my son is 10 and I haven't necessarily spoke to him about sex but when he has had conversations with me about like certain things i'm i'm open like mm. with him know. asking me like so how did it happen how did you you know like little questions mm. i'm not going mm. into detail mm -hmm. but i'm still saying stuff i feel like it's very important my mom was the type of person to say when you get older mm. Mm. yeah mm. but that's the thing though with a yeah. boy and a my girl mom, child like, my, i'm gonna be honest on everything i love my mom used to tell me that um that giving head was her own Mm -hmm. I guess against her But religion. that worked though, innit? It didn't work. Because, Every girl gets because I'm one, I'm no, not I'm saying, Muslim. But I'm gonna be honest, you feel you feel you feel like that would would, would um no, you can have me. It didn't I'm, I'm not saying that it made me want to suck dick because my mom said that. Mm. But I'm saying you just shooing me off. Mm, You're help. not giving me any type of information. So where do people Tell go for that information? Me, give me real, and I wasn't going and anywhere. Porn. I wasn't getting that information anywhere, and I wish I got that from my parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish my dad told me these niggas ain't shit. Me, oh. But do you know oh, what? Oh, yeah. 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 See, yeah. see, see, see the and that's from early. Why can't saying? we just be I men? I can yeah. learn and grow. I, am I not learning yeah. and growing? Do you know what? Yeah, I just these men. Or yeah. not all of them, not generalizing, uh -huh. but they a may, there's a possibility <laughs> that they may be dirty. Okay. Okay. So make sure that you do X, Y, and Z. 100%. I wasn't You're giving vetting. that. It was giving, don't sleep with anyone. Okay. When I'm going no to my advice. parents at 16 mm. and I'm asking them about sex, mm. I'm getting no type of information from yeah. them. Yeah, 100%. Whereas I would have rather get information from them because those are the people I trust. My parents are who I trust. So those are the people I'm going to listen to the most. Mm. And I didn't get that that information from them. It's given, you're not meant to sleep with anybody until you're 18. Yeah. Right? So then you're That's out no information. For, yeah, 100%. So that can so also be, don't touch that button. We want to touch the button. Mm. Now yeah, you want to touch that. the button. You've intrigued. Yeah. So yeah. we know that just saying no, it doesn't work. We know this. So I didn't get your land. To, you didn't get to land about the addiction thing when it actually becomes an addiction. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've pinged off somewhere else, but... Um, so you asked me actually the question you asked me was um, about it was set around sex and uh, around the, the conversation and being important to learn about it. You know how did we get into that in the first place? Mm. Well, yeah. So some people are. I think porn does get a bad rap. Mm. It does get a bad rap because it can be used as a positive sexual aid. 100%. Many people I've worked with, it's not a positive sexual aid. It's, it's a negative sexual aid. Yeah, right. So is, is everyone who drinks alcohol? Most of the people in this room today are drinking alcohol. Does that make them alcoholic? No. You know, some people might have a healthy relationship with alcohol. Many people, not every person in this country is an alcoholic that drinks alcohol. Fact, right? I'm not saying that there isn't problems with it. There is, but it doesn't mean everyone is. You know, we've got the amount of gambling sites that are out there advertising TV. We should say, so we should stop that. Well, not everyone's a gambler, right? So we have to remember that not everyone is going to be addicted to porn. The problem with porn is what it does to your brain. It's the instant release of dopamine, and we have to remember that. You know, I always talk about. But porn. what about the man that can't get no pussy though? Right. There's bare man that can't get no pussy. Okay. Bare man. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like, like when I do videos and I talk about like getting girls, because I do videos like approaching girls out there, okay. and they're like, "Oh, it's impossible. Oh, you can't do it. I can't do it. I'm an incel. This weird shit." And like, bro, like it's a <laughs> lot of guys. Like, because obviously, when you're a guy that can get girls, yeah, you it's like you can't imagine that life. Do you get what I'm saying? You yeah, can't it's imagine it's that lifestyle. Not relatable. Like, it's not relatable. Like, do you get what I'm saying? You don't feel rejection, do you? I don't give a fuck. Like, mm. I literally don't care. And I had do a bridge like that. Like, he moved to anything. Anything. It don't, don't matter. Care. Even if I feel like, oh, she, she, she could be quote unquote out of my league. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm gonna yeah, move to her. Isn't it? Worst thing she can say is punching. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't really yeah. believe in that. So story. how do you? So you know, and this is really, this is really good stuff because I've seen loads of things like that out there, mm. and I look and I often think about the young man that's watching that. And usually, the ones that think they can't do it, they're judging you and looking at you 
and comparing themselves to you. Yeah. And thinking, he's better looking than me. He's got bigger arms than me. He's this, that, Come the on, other. obviously. Right, obviously. <laughs> you didn't see me a few years ago, brother. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but um, all I'm saying here, so that, that means, the technique means nothing to them on how to educate, to try and teach them how to go and speak to someone because they are too trapped in their unconscious feelings on how they feel about themselves. So the answer is we need to work and get them feeling their best selves, find that shit, whatever that was, whether it's attachment issues, rejection, whatever it might be, we we'll then teach them how to visualise what it's going to look like when you do approach a woman. How do you want to be? How would you want that? But well, a lot of girls are bitches out here, though. Let's keep it real. I'm glad I'm 43 that's and I'm that's married. General, that's, ge that's generalized. It's generalized. Bro, would you say, would you say it's the league that you I have a question. Before? I have a question. What do you mean by bitches? I mean, like, it's, like yeah. for instance, yeah, a lot of girls, I feel like, they see it as a sport rejecting guys. The way they can spectacularly reject guys, bro. Like, there's a way you can just let someone down and then there's a way when you're violating. And I think there's a lot of girls that they they actually find that to be entertainment but it's to up, violate guys. It's up, guys, to, you, it's to, up to you what you feel like is violation. Listen, me personally, all, I don't no, give I, a crap. I, I, I don't know, care. You know, let me finish what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's also perception. Like, uh, for example, I was 18. I went to um, my my cousin used to play for. I mean, used to um, go to Harvard University, and there was a club at Har at Harvard University, and I went there, and I, a guy walked over to me. He came to me in my face. He tried to talk to me. He did like a strunt. Let's just say from there to all the way behind me. And he came to me. And he tried to talk to me. I turned around when he tried to talk to me. He spat at me. In his mind, that was major disrespect. But to me, who told you to come over here? Mm. I was like 18. I was like 18. I, I, he, I spat, he spat in my face. No, I get that. That's, 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 that's a madness. But, I, but that's, I'm that's, just that's giving up. But hold on, I'm not saying that you're that you don't type have of nigga. You don't have to hold my hand like that. No, I'm don't joking. get excited. I'm joking. Excited. I'm joking. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying like it depends on what you see as rejection mm -hmm. because you could see that as rejection, and also another man could think I I told my friends I was going over there and I went yeah, over there and he blew it up. Do you know why? Or he could slide in your DMs, say whatever he's saying, feel like he landed, and I'm gonna be like, uh, that's not even anything. Can I ask you a question? How many guys have you approached in your life? Um, probably like eight. Eight you in your whole in life. DMs. Eight in my whole life, yeah. yeah and so and that's nothing to do with social media. This is all in real life. If you're yeah, going no, to no, that, social that's... media, if you're going to say social media, I'll probably say like fifty. No, <laughs> like that's cool, in but... fifty DMs. <laughs> yeah, a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your approach? I slide in niggas' Rappers. DMs. Rappers. Rappers. Eyes. Brothers, brothers, eyes. brothers. Rappers, eyes. I give my eyes. Mm. Eyes. I yeah, you eyes. Mm -hmm. You see, the the, the the point I'm trying to make is that like a, a lot of times girls don't understand what it takes to go out there, come out of your comfort zone, and go to approach a stranger. Did she ask you to? No, but yeah. no, but I'm just trying. I'm Did trying, she I'm ask just you to? Make, you see, no you're not, you don't want to hear this. I'm not hearing it. Listen, listen, listen. listen, no, listen, listen, listen let me finish. Let's let me finish. Let's learn. Let's learn something. At the end of the day, I'm not excusing what that guy did. I'm not excusing that in any way, shape, or form. But what I'm trying to say is that that is an extreme case in a on a typical setting. It takes a lot for a guy just to come out of his comfort zone and talk to a stranger. Like, it's not... Uh, we're from London, isn't it? Like, we're in Birmingham right now, but we're from London. We know it's bad vibes. Bad. We know that. So, for a guy to come out of his comfort zone, knowing that the mo the likelihood is she's going to reject me. Now, we're just going to find what kind of level of rejection is. It's not an easy thing. And a lot of women don't have to experience that thing. So, a lot of times you're like, oh, yeah, you should just take the rejection and be cool. Bruv, a lot of guys out here, they've, they've been like embarrassed, violated, made mm. to feel small, made to feel like crap. Yeah, Do you get sure. what I'm saying? And you lot don't experience that because you lot always have options. Even the mm. girls that are average at best still have a guy that's willing to fucking simp and be some bitch for her. So that's the reality. Let me ask you, you something, jealous. King. One second, stop. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not jealous. I'm getting killed. So, 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 so much fun, Pat. So much fun, Pat. What? Let me ask you, though. Do you, you think that, as man them, and mm. as fathers as well to young men, mm. that we could prepare them a lot better for that situation rather than depending on uh, how a woman's going to react. I think rejection what, is rejection. rejection. At, at, at the end of yeah, the day... like to know that more time... It's, it's, it's one of those. It's, it's, it's a numbers game. No, 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 no. Uh, like, okay, like for instance, when I do these videos, I like, like if I'm in Stratford or Manchester, here, whatever, moving to Bear Girls, bruv, man takes L's. Mm. That's standard, mm. innit? Like, my thing is this, yes, it's a numbers game. 
And at the end of the day, life is not fair. And it's not even feasible for every girl to like you. It doesn't even make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Everyone would be cheating constantly. Especially you if you're not successful and got... Exactly. So at the end of the day... everyone has their own type. This is sounding like you want every bitch to like oh, you. Oh, no. This is weird. I just like, said oh, they don't like, have no, to no, all I'm, like I'm, you. But I'm just saying, like, it's giving... That. It's not giving. No, I just said what it is. No, no, I, Do you I get a lot no. of backlash for it? Like moving to Bear Girl? I don't, I don't even care. I don't know. No, was get it, what Miss Wilshire, I was just asking. Some girls, are, they recognise me when I'm doing it. They're but like, you oh, know what? Really? I think, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, really, yeah. that you see men that uh, are, are like really. that, yeah. It's what? because they lack something inside More? themselves. Mm. What, which guys? Really? Like guys yeah, that you really. know that are like, Oh, you didn't know? Um, are we saying this? Promiscuous. Get this chicken that out. are promiscuous? Well, I don't know. That have multiple women. I don't know what to call it. I, I think what we're, what we're realising is that <laughs> everybody has issues. No <laughs> one. <laughs> no, we're, we're talking. No, 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 that's not. No, no, no that's one. Not exactly. No one. We need a therapist. We need a therapist. Hold on. Hold on. We need a therapist. No one has is, no one is free of issues. As a human being, we all have our stuff. Where are we meeting these people? Yeah, absolutely. When you're younger, you're just figuring it out, man. Fucking no, hell, you're just what? figuring it out and you're going to make a lot of mistakes and social media helps blow that up and make that even bigger and brighter and more colourful and more exposing. It doesn't mean that it wasn't the same years ago. It was exactly the same. We did the same fucking moves when we were younger. In fact, we used to, to save the rejection, we'd have a competition, we'd go out to a girl and talk about the most boring subject and see what would happen. Go, all right, do you like sharks? And they'd be like, yeah. Let me put you like sharks. So nothing, nothing changed changes it's just more okay. exposed and yeah. i think there are some good things that what kim was saying there are some good things that people are doing that they can learn but not everyone is going to feel they can measure up so it's low self-worth yeah. low self-esteem okay. 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 what i was saying is tana is this to do with our responsibility as men yes as a community of men you and know, what we're saying to it is young men growing up it is 100 you're, you're gonna hear no because if you look at the demographic of suicidal rate from the ages mm -hmm. of men <clears throat> right and I hate hearing women saying, ah, oh, men this. And I hate men saying women are all this. Like, mm. We need each other for fuck's sake. Relax. Mm. Yeah. We all need each other. Yes, right? There is no human being without both of us. A hundred percent, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah. Let, is... Hold on, let me land. I'm on a roll now. I'm yeah, off. Okay, I'm okay, off and running. Let me, let me give you the yardy horn right? first. Come on. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ooh, Shabba. We don't any of them. All right, okay, I'm yeah, all right now. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> that escaped right. me for a moment. So I'm back in. Yeah. Um, so what I'm saying is we've got a responsibility. And with men talking about feelings, back then would have been really... If I said to my mates years ago, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings, right? Fucking, there's no way. And that's the problem. We need to change that. And we need to change that. And women need to be embraced of that too. Because there are a lot of women who say they want a powerful man or a t I'll give an example right a tall man this is obsession now you could say because I'm five foot seven I might have an opinion on that you're damn right I have a fucking opinion on that because when I was younger <laughs> I had little man syndrome <laughs> right because it touched the nerve of course mm -hmm. and suddenly all of a sudden she's a tall man equals security but <laughs> I, but what I can tell you is I've been out of many women who were abused and beaten the shit out of by these so called tall men that they really liked they didn't feel secure I'm not saying all men are like that that's their experience what I'm saying is we've got to be careful for what we're putting out there because if then a man says I don't like a fat woman boom all of a sudden it goes Fresh down I said that let me ask you a question yeah do you think it would be fair on dating sites yeah if the same way you gotta put in your height you should have to kind of put in your weight yes well. yes I agree absolutely I agree too how fat are you do you wow. think that's fair no, I, no you what I'm saying tell by the pictures though, I agree too and, and, and I'm saying this <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm saying and I'm saying this it's from both aspects I think as a, a, from, a, from a woman I would want somebody to know how I weigh Mm. Nah, man. But how much I weigh, and then I also feel like the man deserves to know. How much do you weigh? If the height's not important, if the Me? weight's not important, then the height. Um, do you know why like I think that's silly? Go on. That's good I have been out of no, bigger that's girls, big my, thick my girls. BMI, I'm obese. That's you, though. Slim I'm saying, girl, I'm saying right, just still. to make it a clear, a clear battlefield, an even. But game. Uh, but then then we don't we don't we become we run the risk of becoming a bit shallow. Because actually... We're all shallow, bro. Uh, look, we are. in one aspect, though. Okay, I'm let me give an example. Shallow. My wife is from Siberia. She's Russian, right? Okay. So on paper, we would have never have met had I not made choices and gone certain places and whatnot. And ideally, that may have never worked. Mm -hmm. But I remain open-minded and you never know who you're going to connect with. And we couldn't even speak the same language. She couldn't speak English and I couldn't speak that Russian. That works Google in your favor. Let me tell you that. Though. I agree with that <laughs> one, sir. <laughs> well, I do agree. Google Translate. Google Translate. No, Google Translate. no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but that was before that. I'm oh, a, wow. bit, a bit old school. There was no... Dictionary uh, was, and stuff. It was... Um, so how did you... Think, how did you 
Yeah. How uh, did you meet her? True story, don't laugh. I taught her how to dirty wine. That was the first uh, wow. that was the you first thing. Okay, so you guys are at <laughs> You know, I'm Cypriot. We, we know how to do all of the cultures. But I mean, you know. where, where was you at the time? Though? You guys was at the I was in Thailand. We, we oh, met her in Thailand. Thailand. And then he was playing Jamaican music. And she just Hold on, you just said you just taught her how to dot it. What you said? In Thailand. In Thailand. You just yeah. wine. Bank on, bank So they bank probably was playing dot in wine. I was yeah. just doing what me and Kim were talking about earlier on. We were doing peacocking, right? I was peacocking. I, I don't bring me into this. I'm going to bring Kim <laughs> into this. <laughs> <laughs> you said enough. Go on, Kim be peacocking. You know, so... I forgot my fucking wow. point now. This, is, this has been a yeah, mess. You said you taught her how to dot it wine. You said the communication. Not yet. So what I'm saying is completely different people. I don't like that idea of that whole kind of, you know, I need to be that because you never know. Like there are people, like my mum never liked my dad when she met him. She yeah. didn't like him. She, true story, she didn't like him. When he came here in 1974, right, she didn't like him. He, he, he used to say to her, talk something, talk something. She's just like, oh, you're arrogant. Like I don't even like, like I don't even like you. Like what is, I don't, who are you kind of thing, right? Yeah. But, he, but he was always like, you're going to be my wife one day. I'm going to marry you one day and all this kind of stuff. She didn't like him. Mm-hmm. And she loves that man. She loves that man more than anything, right? And they're complete opposites. I don't think life is like, I don't think women like now, now will do it's that. It's not the same. I'm not if saying they don't that. Like, There's too bro, much choice if now. If they don't like you, mm. fuck that, bro. No, but, they're not They're not doing it. But then, but then we're not but then we're not learning. No, don't, like, I know that. Tell them. No, we know These that. Two. No, you're not going to say that because I've learned to love someone. I've actually learned. I didn't like the person initially. Yeah. And then I ended what up... What is it about that you can like? I don't think you can learn to love somebody, you know? I can't. Do you know what? I I'm sitting here thinking, genuine. why the fuck uh, should I have to learn see? to love somebody? You can learn. No, 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 that's not one second. One I've second. Learned I've, to tried love, I've learned to love I've two tried people to and I said, fuck that. One man I didn't like and I married and one other... Well, didn't not like. I shouldn't say that. I'm but not I, saying but that. Like, it, it grows to love sometimes. You don't I just... Don't I feel no, like that. I, I feel like... Agree. No, I feel like that overnight love sometimes is lust. Not you overnight. You can feel that way of, about agree. somebody and you can feel that way about somebody in six months and you might not even care about them ever again. Have you ever you could not care about somebody for the first six months and just like them as a person. What is it you didn't being, like about that guy? I guess each as to their own. Human it's being. Different things work for different people, innit? What, what didn't you like about that guy? Probably wasn't sexually attracted to him. So it was looks. Looks. And, so and, looks this, matter. and this is what there I'm saying. Go. With that menu, mm-hmm. we might realise that we're... Because what's not on our... I'm just going to use a, a, a generalised example that most girls on social media that they'll put out, they go, it's got to, especially Love Island, they go, it's got to be tall, it's got to be dark, it's got to be handsome, it's like so boring and old hat, right? You need more substance than that. Mm. If we just look at it on that alone, then certain being people short would... with a bag, though. That's so that's, 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 that's gold digger vibes. No, but what I'm saying Take is, if Sarah, that's all you need. What I'm saying is, if we if we say, for example, we don't <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm not. If we say, if we say, for example, we don't like, one set, one set, Your one set, one digger. set, because it's just there's a lot going on. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. All I'm saying is, if there's a people that say, I don't like big women, for example, right, and and so therefore that's now excluded, and then they meet a woman who's bigger than what they would normally like, and all of a sudden they hit it off. What are you going to do then? You remove that opportunity. We're just people connecting. I tell you, yeah, you're and right. this is what but I'm men trying are to more, say. Men are more like into settling than women these days. Mm. I think, because again, a lot of guys are not getting pussy. They're not getting girls like that. So even if, oh yeah, I don't like big but women. Even if a big woman right? comes along, bro, bro, it's better to have a big woman than to have nothing, bro. I know. So a lot of them guys will be like, do you think cool, that why do you think men ain't getting pussy? No, I think a lot of guys are like that. Oh, a lot of guys are not me. Like that. Absolutely yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. <laughs> no like, way, King, bro. why do you think men ain't getting pussy? Because a lot of girls, their dating requirements of shut up, bruv, is unrealistic. Is mad. Hollywood, like, basically. Yeah, like they're looking at Instagram explore page. Oh, I want to live no, this lifestyle. Like stuff bruv, like, like you're not, you're not meant to live that lifestyle, cuz. But there's stuff, there's stuff like roses they can get pleased in other ways they don't care about men but if we continue uh-huh. to object what do you say, say, what do you say about roses you see what I'm saying roses I'm saying, I'm saying there's, there's, They're real there's good. other ways to please yourself you, you're not gonna you don't need take a man you don't need to settle in it you don't, don't need to take the man with hair you don't need to settle in it don't need, I'd rather be by myself and my rose me and my rose and my rose can sleep next to each other you think that rose is building you up like do you feel the same way the rose going under the sex addiction thing the porn addiction maybe yeah, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not disagreeing with that point. Over the years, I think there's going to be over I'm the years, I think there's going to be research that shows the like the, the effects that 
sex toys have had M- masturbation. Yeah, Mastur- yeah, I feel like no, masturbation, masturbation is amazing. Be healing, I feel though. like it's not, it's not always a, it's not always a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, I feel like, like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like you should pleasure. masturbate. So that's what I was saying about the rose. Yeah, part. I was basically just saying like. Um, at this point in our lives as women, sometimes it's just like, I'd rather just not have the mm-hmm. headache. Mm-hmm. But we have a guy that I get that. It's the, safe, it's the but safest but option. Yeah, don't you feel like just want a body, a physical mm-hmm. body there instead no, of so family I, would, I don't want you sweating mm-hmm. on me, thanks. But this I don't want you breathing on me. But this oh, is the problem with the girl's mouth. So we have to wear a tracksuit. That's witchcraft. No, I'm just saying in general, like if I don't like you for real, I'm not on you Spitting in someone's mouth. In a girl's mouth, yeah. That's witchcraft. It's not. It is. It is. You're well, trying to transfer girl. saliva into her saliva. Mm-hmm. I'm not you're, trying. You're, try, you're trying. You're, you're, you're hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there any? Is there any? Is there any proof? Where you're is it happened to yes, you? Yes, yes, it's in a book. Well. I will give it to you. Well, well, if you kiss, though, if your lips in. No, I'm not spitting. No, that's yeah, but, yeah, it's the same kissing, saliva going in, in your mouth. Totally hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's take feelings out of it. Let's take feelings out of it. Yeah. Has anyone ever spit? Has anyone ever spit in your mouth, Lily? No. You don't even need to spit in their mouth though. If you tongue kiss a girl, bro, like your saliva that's is like, changing. That's like me riding it's your like, face. That's also it's a, a ritual. No, do, you know, do you know what? And it's like, and it's like also mm. sex on your period. That's also a ritual. I've heard about that. I've heard about that's that. Okay, fair enough. Right. Whatever. Right. But I'm saying. Putting rice. Huh? huh? What? Putting rice? Putting rice? Yeah. Putting like casting a spell, putting it in the food. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what's mad though? That's why I don't accept food from any woman. Honestly, on everything I've I actually know a few women that have put their period blood in. I wouldn't. I'm not sure. Have you heard about anything like that? Spaghetti bolognese. Has it, has it worked? Ow. Has it worked? Don't eat spaghetti bolognese. Uh, yes, yeah. what? Every single so time. So she, she put her period blood in, in spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese, bolognese. I don't know. gave it to the man and it worked. Yeah. What, yeah. Keep, what did it do? You would not leave back. her alone. Yeah, yeah, it, didn't, it didn't work in her favour though. I'm going to be honest. On everything I love, she told it's me karma. about it. It's karma and though, it didn't work in her favour. He ended up beating her up. She Crazy. moved him yeah. in. He wouldn't leave. And at the point where she actually wanted him to leave, yeah. he wouldn't leave at that point. <laughs> you, you, you think you want someone. You think you want to tie them. You think you want them in your life until they... Uh, no, but it's the karma why, of it, I think, no, personally. I, honestly, I think it's karma, karma, definitely. But secondly, it's definitely... When somebody doesn't want to be in your life, God, if you're it. forcing them to be in your life, they're not going to be. Gonna be ha- every, they're not going to be a happy reaction. person yeah, in your so life. Mm. Now yeah. they're in your life unwillingly. Yeah, yeah. So un- willingly in your life, I'm going to be a Take demon. So how, how do you, how so do you reverse that? How do you reverse yeah, there's it? Can I, can there's a couple candles. She has to spit in Aki and salt fish and say that. <laughs> yeah, she really, yeah, yeah, I yeah. release him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I release him. <laughs> right, Nessa. Right, Nessa. You not went left with the spit thing because at the end of the day, it's you're tongue kissing. It's powerful. And you're, and you're no. changing. Right, listen, right, there's, there's a difference between... Let's see, listen, let's listen, let's listen, spit in your mouth. Spit in your mouth. Let's see if you're if you're Listen, listen, yeah. There's a difference between... spit in your mouth. There's a difference between you, yeah, that small exchange of saliva and somebody actually spitting in your mouth and it's just swallowing that in it's your a belly. Force. Aisha, it's a let me ask you something though, yeah. I, I fully get what you're saying. Mm. New accent. But check this now. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> yeah? We're gonna do this, yeah. I'm saying logically, if you live the same person for let's just say five days, mm-hmm. That's gonna to equal to the amount of him spitting in your mouth once. There you go. Yeah. So I'm saying, I get what you're saying. Okay, you've but accepted you see the ritual. Your, you've you see accepted the ritual. it in your head. The ritual though. is it happening all at one time. Yeah, and make, for exactly the immediate so it effect. It drops in your belly, bro. Like at the end of the day, like kissing is it's whatever. It's kissing, bro. It is collecting in your belly. It's collecting no, in your belly. Bro. Yes, it no, is. bro. Because sometimes, yeah, it depends on even who you're kissing. Because some, it, it, it depends. Because sometimes when you're kissing people, you don't even exchange saliva like that. Huh? Who you been kissing? It, it, I'm just saying it depends. <laughs> it depends. Anyone you live, she gets to lie. Well, let's you ask some That's what I'm saying, man. Let me ask you. Let me no, say she this. Dead dead watch this. 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 Watch do you think wow, you there's a difference there. if he that's lips scary. if he lips the person that's got AIDS mm-hmm. or the person with AIDS spits in the person that you reckon you're still not getting them? If so I basically, know, basically, basically I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. To my to my understanding, yeah, a person with HIV, yeah, for them to even spit in your mouth, no, you need to have a cut. Yeah. In your mouth first. Blood no? to blood. It's blood to blood. Oh, you need blood a cut blood. in your mouth first. Blood. Basically, HIV dies outside of the body. Hepatitis C is more powerful. That can survive outside of the body for three months. Mm. Dry blood. Okay, and there's no that, discrimination to anybody that's experienced having AIDS or HIV. Uh, I, try, or I know what you're trying to say. say what you're saying the is, is the, the intention behind it yeah. that makes it different. Okay. 
It's not the fact that it's saliva. Mm. Otherwise, you would be, mm. you know, wouldn't kiss anyone, right? It's the intention behind it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do it for you. It doesn't mm -hmm. float your boat, mm -hmm. and that's absolutely fine. The kink is different for all people, mm. right? Like my guy there was saying, what he might like doing might be completely different to what you like doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a I question? But the yeah. last, before no, you go there, man's got some questions question. in a minute. But yeah. the only thing I just wanted to say, yeah. we've got to be careful. And again, <coughs> King, I'm not coming for you in any way. We're just having a conversation. Oh we need God. to. Mm. No, no, we, we you are just having a conversation. I feel like you're really defensive, you know. Who just does? because you've been getting at me, I'm just going to point it out. I feel like you're really defensive. I wasn't getting at you. No, 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 no. You're right. That was me being defensive. I'm projecting onto you, but I She's still feel like you're really defensive. <laughs> 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 one second, no pause. Wow. One second, one second. <laughs> she has been accountable a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, and you can, uh, must have, must have, you reflect very quick. Okay. Listen, I won't come in for you ever. I know, I know. And uh, I, I don't just, think you're being defensive, and I wasn't being defensive. It was a bit, it was just a bit, um... Just it was just banter. No, okay, cool. Misinterpretation. <laughs> okay. Go on, go on, go on. I th I actually, <laughs> on your point on it though, I think this is a new situation for me mm. as well. So I'm probably sucking that in and no, trying to see. People saying, I'm not coming for you, I'm not coming for you. Whoa. Whoa. Because it sounds like, <laughs> you know. Hello, love, love, big love. <laughs> because there's a, there's a lot. There's I don't lot like you, on. do you know that? You already made no, your assumption of me. I don't, I don't even me. like you. When you, you look spoke like to that your guy, friends, no, this is this is what she done. You said you made your assumption when your friend told you what I was like. My friend I don't never told like me you a anyway. damn thing about you. I don't my like friend, you either. my That's friend, fine. don't talk about my friend until she comes back in the room. Okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, you're you're not here. You're not here to like me. Identify as a girl. You're not here to like me though. Blood clot girl and your name like blood clot call. Do you take fuck like dog too? Is that your your hair? No, it's not. It's a wig. Oh. But I have hair. Oh, I have right. hair. Play down my back. Stop. Don't ever play with me. Play with your dick if you can see it. Oh, let's kill the conversation there. <laughs> anyway, the barman. Oh, is there questions now? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got to get. I've got to get this point off my go chest. On, go on, go on. It's really important. Otherwise, it's in line with what you're saying. Because you're right. I've pulled up a couple of people on certain things, and. One of the things you asked earlier on about how we can change this culture is we need to stop objectifying. Now, I've got to be careful because I don't want to sound like I'm being approved. Now, I'm not approved in any way. Mm -hmm. And I am very aware that I'm not a single dating man and understand that world. I can't even pretend I do. Just mm -hmm. because I'm a therapist doesn't mean I know fucking everything. Mm -hmm. I'll learn from my clients. I'll learn from people. And I don't know what it's like to be a young 20-year-old something man trying to figure it out now because I'm 43. Yeah. But... We, I have watched how the culture's changed a bit and we objectify women a little bit. A little bit. And so I'm not, again, it sounds like it, but I need to bring it. When you said like, yeah, but I know loads of men who aren't getting any pussy. Right? Think of that sentence. Now that might be all right if we're together maybe down the path, but when we're, when we're thinking about it really, mm -hmm. it's an objectifying. We're objectifying women. Women are objectifying men. It doesn't mean we've got to be prude. There's a balance in the middle. And until we change that culture... I think the respect level will change and it's hard to do. I don't know the answer. But you know what you're saying? You're talking about the way I'm, I'm putting my point across. What is really important is, is what I'm saying true? I would, do you no. know what I'm saying? Is, is like, it a fact? Is it a no. fact? What you're saying? So if I, my, think, I, I honestly think most guys are, are not getting... It's an like opinion that. though, isn't it? That's, a, that's my opinion. Let me tell you something, yeah, yeah. Kim. Yeah. This is Generation Z. Everybody's getting pussy. You can pay for pussy. Pussy yeah, but is paying, very paying for paying for pussy box, is very accessible. Paying for box is different to like you can just go out there, move to girls, and get girls. That's Brother, don't you, you think that's different? Pussy is pussy. No, bro. but don't you Whether think that's you're different? For it, well, listen to me, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're paying for it, if you're going out there and it doesn't girls. Matter. Because either way, you're paying for it, bro. You yeah. gotta take these girls on dates. You gotta take them nights. You gotta take them this time. If person. you find out, if you find out that you okay, let's say you have a son. So pause it there. Okay, because Tana needs the toilet. That's not why we're <laughs> Yes, I, I want to use the toilet. That's fine. We can, call keep, we can, we can just, just go. Just yeah, you, can, you two can carry on. Yeah, just go, Is that just a yeah, 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 Everybody pays. Gaps, but that's all right. You pay yeah, for but it's different though. Okay, let me ask you this, yeah. Let's say you have a son. I don't know if you have a... I do have a son. All right, cool. So if you find out that your son is paying for pussy, you'd feel that that's normal. That's just standard. Like, this is what I'm trying to say No, to it's you. just yes or no, really. No, it's not. It's very much more technical than that because everything in this world is transactional. Everything. How would you thing, feel about everything, it? Everything, How everything. would you feel about it? So even him taking a girl on a date, yeah, mm. that's still in a way paying for pussy. But no, but day, you're, not gonna say, gonna say, you're not answering say, my question. You're not answering my question. You're not answering my question. Let me know. Oh, God. You're not, though. But the question wasn't talking about him paying for a date. So I'm being very about? specific. I said, how would you feel if you found out that your son 
pays for escorts, prostitutes, whatever. How Wouldn't would you feel care. about that? Listen, as long as he's putting You'd on a condom... You'd feel like that's normal. As long as he's putting on a condom, I really wouldn't give a fuck because at the end of the day, it is normal. Depending on what your culture is, it is really? normal. 100%. If you go to Jamaica, everybody sells fuck. Fuck oh, is, okay. fuck is 12 pounds 50, so if you bro. Find out, so, Depending so on guy, where you go. So the guy that, that you're dating, the guy that you're dating now, if you find out that, yeah... He just pays for box, like he pays for pussy, like that. You'd be okay with that. You wouldn't fi- think that, bro. Like, like, what the hell? You know what the thing about this is, like, I think you're capping. No, to be no, 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 no. I'm not capping because you know, nah, if, I'm man, yeah, so. if I'm with a man, yeah, if I'm with a man, yeah, I don't expect him to be paying for pussy while he's with me. But if he's in the past paid for pussy, that's not my business. I don't care. You don't care. Let don't me don't ask care. you. Let me ask you a question there, then. If you're saying that it's so normal for gal to sell pussy, Brother, would you sell normal. your pussy? No, because everybody has different morals and di- different in- levels of integrity. Oh, yeah. What's right morals. for me? What's right oh. for me isn't isn't right for somebody else. At the end of the day, I've never put been put in a situation where I am so down bad that the only option I have is Can to I sell my pussy. Question. And, 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 oh, no, but you, no, I gotta say this. Hold on. It's crazy that men automatically assume because you're you're for something doesn't mean that you're actually doing. Let me like. That's know. like me saying I'm not a lesbian. Mm-hmm. But if somebody, one of my friends was a lesbian, I'm like, yeah, all for it. You can do it. Just like she's saying, it's okay for a female to be on. A friend is a, different a, to your child, though. No, but if you just said child, that's different listen, levels. No, no, no. If, no, 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 no Lily, I think, me, I think Lily missed it. She said it's okay for her son to buy pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it but, is because but, you're but not she, understanding. But, but it's normal, saying? bro. In certain cultures, it is normal. Is it normal yeah, in when your we culture? Were, yes, it no, is normal in my... Ch- I so told you I'm Jamaican, you, bro. So then, I told you, you selling pussy selling would be normal then? No. But that doesn't mean she's going to sell pussy. No, 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 no. Let her, let her Brother, go. Brother, you see it go in on. Jamaica. You see Jamaica. No, I'm talking about you. Yes, no, I don't. Don't the whole country No, no, because when I'm explaining, I have to explain because when I'm saying it's a part of my culture, yeah, when you go to Jamaica, you see the people who are impoverished, the people who are in poverty. Yeah, you see certain of them gal that have to sell them front. No, okay. I'm very, I come from a very good family, so I've you. never I'm had to. You no, I've never sold my pussy. I've never had to sell my pussy no, and I would never sell my pussy. But what I'm saying, in your culture, I, it would be normal because that's what you're saying. <laughs> because you say, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I asked her a specific question. I said, if your son, your son is a part of your culture because he's your son mm-hmm. and he lives in your house. Mm-hmm. So if he, you find out that he pays for pussy and you're saying, I've well, that's you not, so hold on, many times. Hold I don't on. care. Hold on. I wouldn't care. Hold on. You said you said that that's normal. So in essence, that is normal in your culture. So why wouldn't you sell pussy? Because I just told you, people, different people have different morals and different levels of integrity. Okay. What's so right in your mind, it's not right morally you. right. So in your no, mind... No, I didn't say that it's immorally wrong or it's morally right. I'm saying to you, people have to do what they have to do to survive, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand what but we're your, arguing your, about. Your, your son doesn't necessarily have if, to let do me that tell to you survive, something. though. No, he doesn't. But if he wants to sell pussy, brother, it's a free world. Go and go buy your fuck, bro. I said buy pussy. Free fuck is anyway. Like, what the fuck? Let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask King a question. Free fuck is. Let me ask. Let me ask. What? Free fuck is. No, hold on. That is a mad statement. I've heard it before. Free fuck. That's a part of my fucking culture. Free fuck is. And that doesn't Do mean that? that doesn't mean Some that I'm out here. That it. doesn't mean that I'm out here selling my pussy transactionally for money. But that means what the fuck would I look like giving it to a man that can't help me? Please, no, but that's please not natural. Ex- no, that's, explain that though. Yeah, but if you what? give it that prostitution, let her explain. That's how? That's how? 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 One second, how? Should nah, nah, nah. Wait there. Wait there. Question. Before. Nah, nah, nah. Let her explain what she said there. Free, please. Free fuck. Please explain that's that. Because why? nothing in life is free, bro. Nothing in life is free. Whether you're paying for your mental... Whether you're paying in your mental health, yeah? Whether you're paying in... Energy. So have you ever energy. gave the man a, a man the pussy for free? <sighs> Like without, without yes. him, no, but without there no, being some yes. No, 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 because any man, any man that I've had sex with, it's because it's like a transaction, isn't it? You're doing something for me, I'm doing something for you. So if that means, <laughs> so do you if only that means, no, 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 no. So that could mean, clarify. that could mean, that could mean, yeah, that could mean that you're really, really good for my mental health. Like you're really taking care of me okay. emotionally. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? So it's we a all, transaction. We exactly. Like everything in this world, you, everything. It might, exactly. It might mean I like do you get it? Do you get yeah, it? Do you get yeah, it? When you're listen, listen, listen. You see, when you're fucking with man that is toxic, you see, when you're fucking with man that's toxic, do you think that's free? That's not free, brother. You're paying with your fucking mental health. Nothing in this world is free. But well, we're talking about family. money, though. Yeah, so if we're talking about money, let me ask you a question then, King, yeah? Go on. If a man pays for a woman's yeah. taxi no, mm-hmm. to his house, mm-hmm. did he pay for the crutches? 
we all pay. Oh, but, but you, what, you've just been but, arguing against but, this. But it's oh different. Oh my God. It's, like, well, it's, different, when, it's different when you Bro, say it. It's different, it. different when you course. say it. It's different when you say it. It's different when you say it. No, 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 no. But you there's new. Nu- listen, talking. listen. There's nuance to everything, right? So there's a difference between me meeting a girl, getting a number, and then we talking, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, come meet me here. Or um, what's it? I'll buy something to eat. We'll go on a date. There's a difference between that and having that kind of organic react, um, transaction to me going to Soho or wherever. The, I don't even know where these women sell bots, but you go there and then you're <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah. come and yeah, I give you money. Service. That's completely, that's you a see, service. Yeah, you blood. see in Jamaica, yeah. You, you see, can't lose. Listen, listen, you can't, listen, that's a guaranteed fuck. You see, in when Jamaica, you go out, no, well, you bro, I don't care it's about Jamaica, no, 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 UK. No, 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 listen, yeah, when, you, when you go outside, yeah, okay, say, say I'm in Birmingham. Listen, listen, I'm in Birmingham, yeah. If I go out there and I move to girls, there's no guarantee I'm going to fuck those girls. There's yeah, no man. guarantee if I date them and pay for anything, they're going to fuck me. There's no guarantee. Okay. But if I go to a escort or prostitute, it's guaranteed 1000%. That's her fucking job. That's her job, fam. Okay. What you want, like? But what I'm trying to say to you is, yeah is you see some men yeah some men would actually rather pay for sex other than to have to deal with people's headaches what is that going to do with what we're talking about and people's bullshit <laughs> because we're talking about why people bro, pay for you're sex you're confusing the, the, the topic bro. you're confusing no, the fucking I'm not. topic I, I know what you're saying and i know what oh i'm saying oh my god we what basically I'm... said the same thing no we didn't we Sounds didn't like say, came back we didn't right say the same thing we didn't say the same thing my mind my mind is sharp you know <laughs> You just, I mean, you, you can laugh all the way. I don't but know if it's that shit. Do you want to know why? Because I'm used to arguing with girls. Like, you, you, you just think you know what you're talking about. Girls like me, baby. You think you know what you're talking about. But listen to what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. I'm not trying to diss you. I'm just saying, yeah? You're talking about two different things. The point of the matter is, is I'm asking you about the culture because you said in some cultures, this is normal for guys to pay for box. A hundred percent. And it's so normal for girls to sell box. Listen, that was the point. So let's stick to the point. Right, and okay. I'm saying to you that that is not normal. That's not normal in any culture. It, that's, that's, that's like... Uh, so who was, Magdalene? Magdalene? who was Mary Magdalene? Who no, was Mary no, Magdalene? No, no. Who was Mary Magdalene? Am I saying it right? Who was Mary Magdalene? I get that, but in our current, in our current society, yeah... You just said in any culture listen, you can't do listen, that. Listen, listen, in our, in our society, back. yeah, it would be looked down upon. You can't double back. Okay, cool. You said in any culture it's not it's not acceptable, but that's basically what you said. No, no, no. It wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, you're doing a good thing. Do you think that was a good thing? Some cultures, not in ours. I agree with you. Okay. In UK, in England, it's not acceptable. It yeah, but dirty, in other cultures, it's, it's frowned upon. But why am I going to think about but what they're doing in Timbuktu, though? But no, it's That's not silly, bro. I'm going to think about what travel? we're doing do here, though. Do you travel often? Yeah, I do. What I live out of the country for years. What was the last place you traveled to? Outside of America, what was the last place you traveled to? It doesn't matter, bro. What, what, what What's difference your background? does that make? What's your background? This is stupid. This, listen, don't listen. I know what girls do. They start talking about some other shit. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just I'm genuinely asking you a question. I'm genuinely asking you a question. I really just want to know what your background is. Because I keep on saying I'm Jamaican. I keep on saying I'm Jamaican. 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 I'm
I went to Sainsbury's by my house, the big Sainsbury's. Why the, did you the big go Sainsbury's there in, the bikini? in my bikini? Why? Because it was like the hottest day of the year. Mm. And I went to go and buy a barbecue. Well, that's kind of understandable. Barbecue, yeah. It's England. Yeah. What, what type of bikini was it? Fung bikini? Or? <laughs> Not you it, was, it was definitely <laughs> a fung bikini. <laughs> and it, but I, had a, but I did have a sarong on. <laughs> but I did have a sarong on. But it doesn't change the fact that I went to Sainsbury's in a bikini. You felt mm. good, didn't it? How did you feel when you was walking through Sainsbury's? Like I was in Jamaica. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I will, I will be honest, when you walk in like that, you got all the confidence. Did you get it? Like, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them you cheeks right. you, you walk into the shop, it doesn't even That's say. Huh? So the bar when you walk into the shop, what you is? When I walk into the shop, what? You're in your bikini. Oh, yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. See it there? Well, you're well, doing, you're right doing awesome. awesome. So we, we've moved to I'm the awesome. end so of the show man. now, yeah? Oh, no. um, so at this point of the show, we usually do the deeds. Oh, that. So you start, obviously, with your sin, which is... The bad, stuff. the bad stuff. Hold on, can I just say something? Even it please? out with the good stuff, which yeah, is the deeds. Go on. Go on. Because I just want to apologize for my sin. Because I did feel really, 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 really bad, and he was so, I so nice. What he your was sin such. Was. I, I, I love your kind I of trademarked you know. the man's thing in it, and I just uh, want to put it out there, baby. Yeah, send send it, send baby, it I've got it for you. I've got it for you. When you're ready, when you're ready, when you're ready, I will transfer that for you. So he was nice to you then. He was like I said to you, he was he was lovely to me. Like I don't like you lot was all like ridiculing me, saying that I was a side thing, but it's like I don't need to prove what it was with us. Like he as was as amazing like main, even after, even to this day. If I need anything, I know he's got me. Mm. Wow, Remorseful. Yeah. Let me give he's him another nice round of applause. <laughs> he should not. And I'm gonna give him a for, 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 for the, whoever you're talking about one second. He's got my man. Shout out to you. Why, why, should it, uh, why should he be both. there for her if she's so done him wrong? Like, because we've done each other wrong. No, you get it? Fuck that. Some people, some people love unconditionally, and probably his fault is that he just lies. But he loves unconditionally, mm-hmm. so it works, isn't it? So and, anyway, and, let's and, move and, to the deeds. And between enough. two people, is their business, mm. and we'll mm-hmm. all have an opinion. And what yeah. might work, yeah. work for you, man? We got nothing to do with us. It's nothing to do with us. So Aisha, so we want to know. God bless you, Aisha. So thank you. God bless you too, Mashallah. So Aisha. Can you tell us about your latest deed or a, a time when a you've done something really nice done. for somebody? Something that I've done really nice for somebody. Or, you, or yourself? Or myself. Or I always do nice things for myself. Um, I bought my grandma a wig. Okay, was it, what kind of wig was it? It was, it was a real expensive one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but do you know what? Yeah, can I tell you about the time I took accountability? Yeah, go on. Right, That's cool. a better one. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> so, um... One time I was coming back from Amsterdam and I was coming on the coach, yeah? And there was this guy, yeah, we had to get off at um, the customs to like, show our passports and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And there was this guy and when he was coming off, it's like he hit me in my head with his bag. And I said to him, like, you just hit me in my head. And he must have said something. And I also said, oh, I don't even know where you're going anyway, you fucking tramp, yeah? That's what I said to him. And he goes to me, oh, you don't know the words that you speak. And you see, when he said that to me, it made me feel so bad. Like, it made me feel so bad. I went and I found my friend. I was like, oh my God, I just called this guy a tramp, but I have to say sorry. He's like, no, you should call him a tramp. He is a tramp. I said, no. You know, like, I actually went and found him and I said to him, do you know what? Like, I'm so sorry for calling you a tramp because, like, obviously, like, we're all human, bro. Like, whatever it is, like. You should apologize <laughs> to him as well for all the bad things you've said to him. Yeah, all the bad things. So, I'm waiting. Just Go on. And then he even said to me, no I already, already apologized to him. And then when, when I like apologized to him, he was like, Do you know what? Like, thank you, innit? He's like, Because do you know what? I am actually homeless. Oh. And that made me feel even worse. Like, do you know what I mean? Can so you hear I the remorse? Like, I was like, I'm so, 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 so sorry. And then you see in that Did moment. Did you give him any money? No, I didn't give him any money. Mm. But you see in that moment, yeah, <laughs> it just it showed me that humility. Mm. Like, you know, like we're all human. Like, you don't know what people are going through, like, to be kind of your words and stuff. So yeah, that was a time I took accountability. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Moving on swiftly <laughs> to King Rich. Mm. Um, what have I done? That was nice. Don't know, fam. Don't know. Probably given, <laughs> probably given a pound to a homeless guy or something. No, do no, you no. Do, that, do you do that often or? Was that yeah, sometimes when they look like they're genuine. But one time, yeah, um, there was some homeless <laughs> woman in fucking what's it? Uh, what's it, Whitechapel, yeah? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, yeah, money, money. So I'm thinking, like, she can't eat, innit? She's starving, innit? Yeah, so I went in the little cost-cutter thing, bought a little drink, like, the sandwich, the crips and that. 
And then boom, I come with the bag. Like I was like, yeah, here's this is for you. She was like, ah, I don't want that. <laughs> I was like, bro, like I'm, I'm like, I'm not giving none of you homeless <sighs> dickheads anything ever again. You no, prick. No, you can't say that. You can't say nah, that. Nah, man, I know exactly what you mean. That that no, happened. No, Sorry that to that happened to, happened to me. To me yeah, where this woman, she gave me, a, she um, I gave her a pound. This is you know when they stop at the lights. Yeah, I gave yeah. her a pound, and um, she quickly it, it fell back in the car, and she's like, oh, I've dropped it, I've dropped it, and I'm looking for the pound, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've said, fuck that, I'm not giving you another pound. It's only when I've drove off, yeah, and I've looked down, you know she threw a penny back in my car. Oh. Tried to hustle oh, me to get oh, another pound. It. And you know because of her, I don't give no one else no money. No, they all want fucking crack, man. They're I was all in like, no, talking man, about like, that. Let me just let me just touch on the time. Let me just touch on the time I was in London. Yeah. You know why London's different? Yeah. London's different, cuz. It's different. She asked me for 20 pounds, bro. Exactly Inflation is real, cuz. I came back, yeah, from a <laughs> night out. Business. Yeah. <laughs> I came back from a night out. I yeah. seen a beggar. I said, oh, I've got nowhere to stay. I'm just trying to make... Like, they always say that. Yeah, yeah. Trying to round that. up whatever yeah. to stay somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, I'm waved. You get what I'm trying to say? So I said, you know what? Yeah, 20 pounds, mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm. Got my petrol. I had to come back. I thought, can't remember what I came back for. She's scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, nah, 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 nah. Never again. But, but, but can I just no, say, yeah, that it doesn't matter. Like, we can't judge people yeah. because mm. when we give people things, we give them unconditionally. If you're not going to give them unconditionally, then don't give them. Like, yeah, you can't yeah, give so. people and then be scarful with you know what they want to do with it. Aisha, let me, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me add to that, yeah. I've got the Spider-Man <coughs> syndrome thing in my head. So, you know the story with um, Peter Parker and um, mm. his granddad? And if he didn't, basically, if he reacted... Mm. differently with the mm. guy then his granddad wouldn't have died how mm. he he could have stopped that situation mm. and i just feel like if i can give somebody some change that will prevent them thinking about having to rob someone or mm -hmm. having to do something or down downgrade me themselves too. then i don't care if they're mm -hmm. going to go and what they're going to spend me it on too. i don't 100%. care 100%. i feel exactly the really same care. way especially about drugs 100 mm. like, especially when it's women like mm. i feel like i would rather give you the money so you can score so you don't have to sell your box selling your box Going and robbing someone's oh, you got house. That. You that for me. Like <laughs> all of that. Like I'd, ra I'd rather you just take my money and yeah. and, and have, be cool have a rock for at least me. one day. Yeah, yeah, have a rock on me. Have a rock on me. Because you're gonna do it anyway. A hundred percent. Like you feel like you see What would you, what what would you say your rock, deed is then? I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. What would you say your deed is then, Lilia? Yeah, move on to the next deed. Um, my most recent. Doesn't have to be your most recent. Um. I had one in the top of my head. I don't know why it went away. I always give to the homeless, always. Mm -hmm. But, um... Mm -hmm. I, do you know what, honestly, my most recent, I would feel like it's, um... Men, giving therapy to these niggas, I ain't gonna lie to you. Why do you have to be niggas though? Why? 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 <laughs> you know? Uplifting, grand, yeah. Grand grand rising. Uplifting. You are special. You are amazing. Because you you are important. I need Nicole. you. Have you done the video though? Have you I put the video out there for all the men and you know I, them I videos? should in it. I should I should have like oh, I'm doing that tomorrow. 100%. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm doing it tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, so wear do, a bikini when you do you, it. You important. No, no, no. no yeah. if I do that then the message is lost. And yeah, you yeah. know that. That's why you're doing that shit. Wrap up. I'm gonna do <laughs> you important. You special. We need you. We love you. Mm -hmm. All of yeah. that. You two you should amazing. do it together. All, All of that. Video together. Mm -hmm. And if you should do a Jamaican version. All of that. <laughs> with a patois in the accent. Yeah, you, can you give me shrimps? Can I use your card? Can oh, you yeah, take yeah, me yeah, the yeah. karma? Let me pick the card that I like. <laughs> I can take All care of right. you. Yeah. Tana. So last, last but not least, Tana, your most recent good deed. Or just tell me about a good deed that you're proud of. Um, Tell us. Sorry. Well, there's plenty. I'm like Jesus. You know? <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I believe though, if you do a good deed and you tell someone about it, it, it doesn't don't count. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I really struggled with this part of the podcast. I've watched it loads, and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I can. So, but I'll keep the theme. Um, first thing I say about, I used to, especially being in, in recovery, used to think, nah, I ain't giving money to homeless people because they're just gonna buy this, that, and the other. And someone off, uh, gave me a perspective and said, you've got nothing, and you're gonna freeze all night and you're going to drink, and it's going to keep you warm, and you're going to go home to your bed, what position are you in to judge? And I thought, that's a really good point. Uh, now, I'm not saying I'm going to still give money. 
it was a perspective I'd never really thought about before. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay. And so then it started that when I see somebody homeless, I used to go and get them exactly what that man was saying. I, I'd get food. Mm -hmm. And they go, I don't like that. But they're still a human being. They're a person. Mm -hmm. So if I decide I want to get something, I always ask them, are you hungry? Yes. Yeah. Are you thirsty? What, can I get what, do, you what do you like? What yeah. don't you like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, anything, on anything, anything, if they're really great for finding it. But some of them will be specific, yeah. specific. They might say, I'm actually allergic to egg. Yeah, well, you they know, might be plant-based. Because they're human beings and this is, and this mm -hmm. is just my it's thing. It's not, really that's like just, that's what it is. So anyway, so my good deed is one Christmas, me and my daughter, I wanted to educate her because I wanted to give her what, what I didn't have. You know, I grew up in the 80s um, and it was just a very different upbringing. And I wanted to teach her about lots of different things. So I took her out with me and we went to feed um, a homeless in the high street. We took extra Christmas dinner mm -hmm. and she was excited at first because she didn't really understand the concept. She was very young. And then she, we talked it for her and she really got to understand it. And just to see their faces on Christmas, mm -hmm. to see a young child with their dad do it, mm. there was something you could see with a, a couple of the ladies that were homeless and a couple of the guys were homeless. They, it meant different. I could feel it. They didn't have to say anything. Mm. And that just made me feel good in my heart that not only did I get to have that experience with my daughter and some education and talk her through some stuff, mm -hmm. it made somebody else really happy. Mm -hmm. And it was a, yeah, it was a really nice moment. And that was a couple of years ago. That was, that was a lovely moment. Yeah. Well, I say be proud of your deeds. I think if you're sharing it, as long as you're not saying who you shared you did the deed yeah, for, that's true. then what we share other things. Out, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with sharing a deed. Just don't say who you did it to. Yeah, you get that's what I'm saying? True. Just keep yeah, them private. That's so true. Because yeah, I would have said that my pom pom is for but I don't want to say who I did that to. Okay. You are yeah, that's yeah. what? Huh? Yeah. What you said? Where you said? I missed that. Yeah. I swear to God, uh, maybe elaborate. it's just the evening and it's been long, but I thought you said pum pum for therapy. Yeah, my pum pum yeah, therapy, yeah, therapy is therapy. Is Why is it okay, therapy? It's therapy. Mm. Okay. It's therapy. I've, I've given therapy to men. Mm -hmm. Is like, it? Yeah, that's, cry. That's good. It's therapy. Is yeah, yours is therapy as well? Mine's therapy. I've held men. I've held men. I've held men. Mine sends you to therapy. Matching. Definitely, definitely <laughs> held through the vagina. <laughs> but I, in that note. Hey, so I just want to thank everybody for attending this podcast today. This yeah. is the maddest uh, podcast I've ever done. It? I'm not going to lie. How, no, more did, importantly, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy yourself? I, I did and it was very different. I'm going to say it's very different because I feel like the old boring person because I'm trying to speak. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun and banter tonight and I guess I, I was... Uh, just thinking about that. It's just unique. It's new. There's you lots was, of people. You was part of it, though. That's what I'm saying. I know, I know. It was good. Yeah. You gave it good balance. It, it was, you did it your was thing, new. man. It was very, yeah, very new. It was very, did. very new. And you're okay. about to be my therapist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you enjoy it? Uh, it was refreshing. You know what? This my is the first thing. podcast I've done in ages, in, in well over a year. Okay. Maybe even two years. And you said to me you was going to stay silent, and you yeah, didn't, which is great. Like, because what you see, even like when you first came to me, you know, you should have came to me last. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Left to the deal. Yeah, he was in the show. What do you think this is, Blackjack? Yeah, man. You should have came on the other side, though, but it's cool. You guys can handle that shit. That's all right. Yeah, we're out. All right, then we'll close it there. Thanks a lot.